Hello, stream. Can the stream hear me? They should be. Can they hear me as well? Probably. I would hope. Oh, what's uh? Yeah, I'm good. Ooh, what's up? All right, people. All right. Hi, hi, Maeve. Um, hello, everyone in chat. Oh, I should tweet about this. Oh no, I should tweet about it. Well, he's tweeting about this. Um, I am here. I believe that we are about to get started with our um, our PR presentation. Gotta make sure to ping everyone. Everyone gets a notification. Yeah, I myself have not seen it. I'm not a. I was not a yeah. panelist, so. So, so at least I've the seen it. Yeah. He's not seen it. Yeah, you so get both, have... the best of both. Best of both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, as you might have seen on the Discord yesterday, we were speculating our final predictions for what we thought um, the PR would be. So I I'm curious to see how close we were. Um, especially regarding like. 10 in the honorable mention because that was like, some of the hardest for us to decide. All right, all right, I'm just tweeting it out. All right, I've tweeted it out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right.
We are back. Get the tournament started.
All right, gamers. I'm sorry about no audio on the uh, PR reveal. That will be a lesson to learn for next time. Um, the issue was that we had new scenes made and we just forgot to put the commentator audio on those scenes. What's up, B-Fox? Which is, you know, an easy enough issue to, uh, like, um... Like, it's an easy enough mistake to make, so... It's okay. We said a lot of very nice things about the people. I bet it was a little weird that people were looking at the images just for, like, a minute at a time, potentially. Ooh. That's alright, we're gonna talk about this now. I'm sure the stream can hear me. So... What did I place this year? B-Fox? You're number zero in my heart. And number one. You've got both those spots. Um. Yeah. So this is the first time Joe Farrell has entered in, like, basically a long time. Probably since, like, 2019. He's been on the grind lately. He, um, he's been wanting to take Melee seriously. Looks like he's going to try to. And looks like he's up a stock versus Jay here. Ooh, I like the dash, the laser, and then dash back. Ooh, slid off and then held down, I think, and fast fell. Um, easy mistake to make. Ooh, misses the, gets a full hop when he probably wanted a short hop there. Ooh, gets the uh, upward hitbox, the the uh, upper hitbox of down air. That was pretty crazy. I didn't realize that that worked. With a, out of a short hop. Uh oh. Things are starting to slip a little bit. All right. Some control. Ooh, I like that laser. It was good. 
kind of like basically what that laser does when he's like on the ground is it forces the wake up option to happen right then. Uh, Jay ended up picking it like a wake up option anyway, so it didn't actually um, change up the timing that Jay was expecting him to get up, but it did force it, which is a good um, habit to you know instill in oneself. Because Falco loves to have control. Ooh. All right. This is not untakeable. I mean, this is one downer away from like now one clean edge guard. Ooh. Didn't get a low enough uh, laser. I think that side view was a little bit high and could have maybe been lasered. That would have been hard though. I don't know. Can't believe I didn't make the PR. Big nose Billy. Sometime. One day. Keep coming and you'll make it probably. Sorry for uh, not having the audio again, Big nose Billy. We talked about how great you were the whole time. So. Oh! Uh oh. Turn pause off. Let's go. Tries to get the quit out. Maybe he's nervous? It's been a couple of years. You know? Jay asked Farrell if he stayed, Fox. <laughs> Wait, did they just full switch characters? No. No, they didn't, right? Shoot. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you did. I have to come at least one hog before Shine this year. I get some practice in. Oh, you're going to Shine, B-Fox? That's sick. Ooh, it's clean. I like the forward tilt. Oh, wait, they both switched characters. I saw Joe take his hand off the controller, and uh, I was like, what? I thought Joe was playing Falcon. Oh! That is weird. I don't think I've ever seen people, two people play, and then they both switch to the other person's character after the game. Ooh, tried to up tilt there. That was crazy. Ambitious. Ooh. Predictable jump timing. Gets called out for it. Alright. Is it an opening? Nope. Missed the tech skill. It's alright. Ooh. I wonder what uh, Joe was going for there. Barrel. Uh, he got the first up tilt, which is usually a signal that, like, hey, we could just do another up tilt and it'll work. Or at least it'll stuff um, Falco if he's trying to hit another another time. Maybe he's trying to go for something bigger like up up air. Okay. I like the cautious back air, and then when it when it doesn't work out, you back up. Because you're not trying to get ledge dashed on. I mean, Jay also hasn't proven that he's gonna ledge dash, but okay, clean. Not that far down. 49 is like one grab away, you know? One grab, up smash, get a tech chase. Mm, dash attack. I'm not sure what the dash attack might have been. Maybe it was an up tilt? I don't know. Maybe it was dash up smash, but you don't need to dash there, I think. Hard to say. Okay, back throw. Wow! Edge cancel shine? I don't think Jay meant to do that. In fact, I don't think Jay meant to do either of the things that just happened. The, the edge cancel. I mean, how did he think to shine that? That's nuts. Maybe he did mean to do it. Of course, in a tournament, you gotta act like you do that, that stuff every day. Whatever. Oh. 
Okay, takes it. Oh, jeez, that's that's ruthless. Where can I see the PR? One, uh, it's not posted anywhere yet, but we will be posting it in the near future. You can go back in the VOD until right before the tournament started. This is the first set of the tournament, so in the VOD we had some pictures. Unfortunately, the audio wasn't saved, which is fine. Um, so you can see there's a final slide that has the, the all of it. Um, but there's also individual slides beforehand that, uh, wow. All right, Juan, chill. <laughs> I can't believe this. Well, how about I can't believe that you are in chat because it's the first time. <laughs> All right, Sheik. I mean, are these people going to stay the same character? Jay must be Sheik. You're making the stream guy do a lot of work, people. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Oh. Not the first time. Check my history. Juan, I'm not checking anything. I'm gonna go back, though. To Hog, you mean? Alright, alright. Oh, go back to the... No, no, no. The rest of the VOD. Got it. But why Sheik on the FD? Infinite tech chase. That's the joke that everyone likes to say. Even though FD does not actually increase the length that you can tech chase. Artie was numbers 1 through 10 on the PR. Thank you. Yeah, it was me, Darth Artie, and then it was Artie a second time. This is 1, 2, 3, by the way. Um, and then the rest was also me. Yeah, no problem, one. I saved you some effort. There's some little witty one-liners on the scenes. Thanks. I was number six. Ooh. I could also just tell you one, but, you know, I think the slides are pretty nice and they put a lot of effort into them. Ooh. Ooh, doesn't go for a ledge dash, goes for a, a, ledge, uh, a ledge hop aerial. You want to see the slides? Yeah, go for them. Oh, decent angle. It avoided the needles pretty well. Oh, nice, nice patience. Not, not like it's easy to accidentally trick yourself there into believing. Oh, she can make it on stage. I need to ledge hop, punish the the landing. Ooh. Gets away with the the side B from ledge, and it wasn't even like so quick that it was able to get invincibility. So, um, a little surprised that Jade couldn't uh, react quickly enough. But sometimes when you get when you get things that you really didn't expect to happen, you know you're unprepared, which is fine. It happens. This game is looking much better for Pharaoh here. Um. Maybe a reverse 3 out. Who knows? How about them apples? Oh, this is a this is a combo. This is kinda like a little sequence. It's not it's not that true. I think it's just Joe's uh Feral's going in at times and, and I think Jay is just not uh executing his defense. Or maybe he's like unprepared to handle the, the kind of offense that Feral was putting out. I mean, it was, it was consistent offense, so, like, um, it wasn't like the timing was getting mixed, like, varied. So, I think that the easy answer for Sheik there is to dash back or wave dash back, expect an aerial because, uh, Feral's been going in on the first beat pretty often when he's got an advantage, or when he's, like, just landed a hit. So, like, he, let's say he lands a hit, doesn't have enough time to get another hit, he'll go in right as soon as he can. So that's pretty simple to play around, but of course it gets more complicated when Falco chooses to instead of go in again, shoot a laser, apply more pressure, get more control of the situation, you know. Um, ooh, down smash. Suddenly we're last stock. I mean, this is not impossible for, for Jay here. So you gotta be really careful. Okay. Oh, wow. That was... So the that's a classic of, like, I see the option my opponent's doing, but I'm like kind of waiting to do my move until I've, until I've like realized that that they're 
like able to be hit, and then that's obviously too late because your move takes time to come out. So it's really a matter of like doing it as soon as you recognize what option it is, because you have to account for the time that the forward smash takes, which is not that easy to like. I mean, it requires faster reaction time, right? So if you're not reacting quickly, maybe that was the time that he reacted and and uh, he did it as soon as he could. But it's hard because like. The animations for get up and roll or get up attack, like, like if you don't know all of them, you're gonna have a hard time reacting to them to them properly, or at least you won't have confidence reacting to them, which uh, makes it harder. Ooh, catches anti airs with Nair uh, from Sheik coming above. So what's interesting is Jay playing uh, Sheik, Ooh, good tech. Jay playing Sheik after winning the Spacey's two games in a row. I don't know why. Ooh, decent. Jay tries to snipe him out of the air. Ooh. Alright, even stocks. Character switched on. <laughs> Big Nose Billy. <laughs> yeah. Part of it's like... Jay just switches characters like every game. I don't understand, but I think you should just stick with one, I feel. I mean, not everyone has to get the same thing out of Melee. So maybe like playing different characters is what Jay wants to do. Maybe he just feels like, oh, I want to get more experience with all these characters. Maybe that's what I'm going for. Not necessarily trying to win. I mean, obviously trying to win in the game, but not necessarily valuing um, winning every single game. Maybe he will go back to a spacey if he loses this game, for example. Um, still kind of risky, though. Losing the set off of it, maybe? I mean, well, he's got a lead in this game, so we haven't even... Um, we haven't even established that he's losing this game yet, so... Nor is it super likely. It's not undoable. Like, this is not that large of a lead at all. And like it's one one straight aerial will take will take this stock from Sheep. Yeah. Oh no, you missed the tech. Didn't give you enough time to um with with a with a hitting attack there, maybe you have enough time to threaten the ledge from Sheep there. I don't know, it would have been close. Ooh. Spending your double jump in that situation is so scary, because it makes it so that Sheik barely has to hit you and then you die. Um, so she can afford to do some uh, long-lasting aerial to cover like fastball timings, whereas normally she would have to... Or like her back air doesn't have to be strong bear to kill. Uh-oh, I'm not seeing that whole comment. Time two, it feels really bad because you end up in the corner, but I don't know how to challenge them without getting hit on the way up. Do you have any advice from that situation? Um, unfortunately, I can't see the whole comment. I can only see from time... from time onwards. So if you want to copy the beginning of it... I can answer. Vaper goes to the top platform and Pharaoh walks into the corner. Aw oh, dang. Got that game. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, I can see it on this screen. Sick. I'd be so I've so I've seen Feral sort of walk into the corner when Jay goes to the top platform. I do that all the time too, because it feels like it's really bad, but because you just end up in the corner. So um What I recommend is you can kind of like uh so, Pretty quick, I'm just going to hop on uh, 
commentary to say that the first game he won, and then he said, oh yeah, let's go to Pokemon. And then like I didn't even think that it was my stage pick, and I was like, yeah, okay, let's go to Pokemon. <laughs> so I, what? <laughs> I mean, I probably would have picked Pokemon anyway. Why did he? Funny. Why did he do that? <laughs> after, after that game, he just goes, wait, hold on. Didn't, wasn't it your pick? Why did my... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he thought he lost? I, I just thought it was pretty funny. You did get. You guys did switch characters. That's funny. Yeah, I was like, wow, we're going back. We're switching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so what I recommend, Big Nose Billy, is you can you can do that, go into the corner. Um, and then what you can do is you can full hop laser and you kind of threaten... Um, you make, make it so that she can't just stay on the platform. And like... Like, imagine that she gets, like, she shield drops after she does the short hop laser. Then you probably have enough time to land on the side platform. Um, alternatively, you can, like, uh, you can always threaten with full hop uh, shine on the platform. So, let's imagine that, um, let's imagine you're Sheik, right? And Falco jumps. You can't react to the fact that it's a short hop or a full hop. Like... Um, like once once the jump happens, you can like if you see the full half happening, it's basically already too late to act. You could, oh, I think it's me. Uh, you can you basically are, are committing to um uh reacting to the full hop or the short hop to, like as soon as they jump, and or at least it's very difficult to react to that. I don't really know. Um. But that's my that's my thing. That you kind of want to play around the fact that they wouldn't be able to know. So maybe you can like short hop onto the middle platform, and there's, there's like no pressure, you know. Like there's no like there's nothing that Sheik is gaining by being up there, you know. She has to find a way to come down because you are able to easily like poke in a safe way by like short hop and then double jumping, back airing. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. Okay, Clay, you can go ahead. I'll see you later, guys. Hey guys, it's me, Artie. Uh, this is a matchup where uh, both players want to grab the ledge. I'm interested to see how Tim approaches this matchup. Lewis, we got Toucan on commentary with me. What's up everybody, it's your main man Toucan here. We got, um, I think it was a hand warmer. Yeah. This is a matchup that you play almost every day. Oh really, the Marth matchup? Yeah. Mar Marth Game & Watch. The Marth Game & Watch. I mean, yeah. I did play Game & Watch when I was like eight. Yeah. I loved Game & Watch when I was 8, actually. And actually, um, when Brawl came out, I played Game & Watch for a while. He's so fun. I, yeah, he's a lot of fun. I like Game & Watch a lot. Um, I do wish that... Because um, here's the thing about Game & Watch. He's got potential, in my in my opinion. Because, um, I mean, we got Curb, who's a really good Game & Watch. As you know, he's, all, he's the best Game & Watch in the world right now. And Game & Watch, he does it really good against certain characters if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Like, like, um, I want to say, like, Game & Watch has, like, some really bad tools, but also some really good tools. Yeah, it's uh, it's really polarizing. Yeah. I honestly think that... Um, if I'm not sure if you watch Super Smash Bros. tutorials, but Kira actually said that... One change he would make to Game & Watch is to make a shield bigger, because there's no reason why it only covers, like, half oh, yeah. of his body. I don't know why they did that. But you know what Game & Watches are doing to get around that? What? They got light shield plugs in their triggers. Ooh. So if they hold it down all the way, they still get the light shield. Ooh. And this is one of those players. Really? So you're going to see a lot of light shielding, yeah. Oh, that's going to be interesting. As soon as he did it, he like destroyed me in bracket, <laughs> and I was like, all right, I gotta figure out the matchup. I can't just, I can't just spam moves on his shield. Yeah. All right, here we go. Game number one. So, a lot of people consider Marv to be uh, one of Game Watch's worst matchups, and I could see why. That Zor will poke through shield a lot, but he's got the light shield trigger, so let's see what happens. Oh, a phantom oh. right to start off. Uh, Chris is very practiced at this matchup, and I don't know if Tim is. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, oh, 
Oh yeah, Game & Watch can go very deep with his recovery and is really tough to punish. Yeah. If you do it perfectly, there's nothing you can do against it. Except edge go except hot the ledge. And um I'm not sure if um I thought I heard this somewhere. I think Game and Watch Up Beat comes out frame one. It's one of the it's one of the It's fast. Yeah, it's very fast. I don't know if it comes out frame one, but I heard somewhere that it does. So um yeah, it's a very interesting little tidbit. And we got an <laughs> even game right now. Both players are basically even percents. Yeah, see that light shield? Yep. It goes right back to ledge, very strong. Uh, Tim is a good player though, and then approaches with grab next time. Exactly. The light yeah. shield makes it a lot harder for uh, Tim to uh, chase after Game and Watch because he's just so light, and his uh, traction isn't that very high. So um, he gets pushed away. So basically, it neutral resets. Oh. oh. He, goes he gets that trade. I love Chris. I'd say that was worth. Cause they're still even. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, Tim's got something going right now. Oh, no punish from Tim. See how Chris fights out of the corner. He gets a key from top. Oh, what oh, is he doing? Seat. I'm pretty sure he tried to pivot that and it didn't work. But he brought it back. Yeah, he's he's fighting. Oh, oh that's wow. Oh, he went so low for the. Yeah, had to. Because while Game & Watch has a very good vertical vertical recovery, it's not so good horizontal. No. <clears throat> oh, he's getting juggled. He's getting juggled. Chris needs a grab. He needs a fair. All right, that starts some. Down throw Nair will kill here, I think. Ooh, just oh, just barely solid. doesn't get F smashed. Very solid fair though. He's looking for it. Oh, but that's gonna get him off stage. Gets back. That's oh. it. That's another thing too. Game and Watch gets uh, tech chased really easily. Awful tech roll. Really awful rolls. Yeah, it's real. All the flows are very slow. Very 1980s like. That's where that, yeah, and, that's uh, the era that he's from. That's the that's the set. That's not the set. He's just going to, is that it? Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. All right. Chris going to the bathroom, I think. First ever mid bathroom break during a set, or mid, mid set bathroom break. Maybe, uh, maybe he, I don't know what happened. We gotta get, we gotta have an interview with Chris. Find out what, what happened. happened. Maybe he spilled something on his controller. Maybe. I'm not sure if he has water with him or not, but, um. Let's get short out a controller. I usually bring a spare controller. God forbid something happens. Yeah. To my controller. Me too. Although the problem is my backup controller now has a uh, barely stiff R and L buttons. So if you like, oh, yeah. if you like push down on a certain angle, they're hard to push in. Oh, I know what you're talking about. A lot of the uh, the Smash Four controllers do that. Yeah, I gotta get a new controller soon, man. Like I actually when I, I like completely re like. I, I like mod, learned how to like mod my, my own controllers and stuff and like install like snapback capacitors. And that was a problem I was having having with like the, the clicky. It's like, if it's like in a little bit, it like gets stuck and it won't go down, right? Yeah. Yeah, I actually had to uh, got an old controller, like an old silver one, so I could just have the triggers on it. Oh my God. I lubed them up too. I got like this nice like controller lube. Oh, it feels so good now. Oh yeah, I definitely gotta look into some controller mods. Definitely gonna get the snapback capacitor. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was having a vertical snapback Ooh. for a while, so every time I would crouch, I was like jumping. It was awful. It was so bad. Yeah, I just felt like um, a lot of issues with my stick, especially in my set versus keto. What's up? Already? Yes. All right, I gotta go play. All right, good luck, man. I trust my main man, Toucan. All right, guys. So it's just gonna be Good me luck. for a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. You too, man. Oops, sorry. Got it. All right. All right, guys. It's just gonna be me for a little bit. Um. So let's see where um, Chris is gonna go now. That he's back from the bathroom. El Baño. Um. This is. I mean, this is a difficult matchup, and this is the matchup I don't really see that often. So it's kind of hard to figure out where he's going to go, but I think Dreamland is a solid choice. A lot of Marks don't like this stage. 
All right. Both players trying to space each other out right now, but it looks like Tim's got a good opening. Got some good damage in. And Mart has the tools to keep Game & Watch out right now. So, um, that's why this matchup is considered really bad for Game & Watch. It's considered one of his worst. Oh, but, uh, he gets caught on ledge. Barely gets back. Dexterous Chris has the, uh... Height on that upbeat down to a science. But Tim still takes the first stock and looking pretty good sitting at only 24%. Ooh, a trick. Ooh, a clank. Ooh, good down tilt to interrupt the, the dancing blade. I think if he held that ledge there, Dexterous Chris was gonna go for the ledge and he would've died. Up. Now that smash might do it now. Probably get back. There we go. But Dexterous Chris is in trouble to stock. Oh man, I didn't think he was gonna make it back there. I didn't even think he was gonna make it that low. He won't make it that he won't make it back from that one though. Ooh, oh, it doesn't punish the counter. That might have been a that might have been a little flub from a uh, Tim right there. All right, Tim, Dexter's Chris finally gets on the board with a stock. He's got to make something work right now. And also, I've noticed this that um, Chris has not gone for any uh, side Bs. Side B, very risky play. But if you get that nine, it evens things right up. Oh, but that down throw to Nair is going to do it. Chris is starting to come alive right now. Yes, he is coming alive. He has evened this up. Oh, he's got Martin near ledge. There comes the back throw. Gets keyed. Oh, no punish on the getup. I think the light shield had too much lag or too much stun. Look at that. He's already in the lead by percent. Ooh, tough slap for Chris. He does get back, but he gets tippered and bad DI. Game & Watch, I believe, is the, uh, one of the light- I know he's one of the lightest characters in the game. I forget what his lightness ranking is, but he's definitely one of the lightest. Probably, definitely top three lightest characters in the game, so he's gonna die off the- he's gonna die off bad DI like that very early. Especially against Mark Tippers. Oh, look at this, though. Very good edge guard right there, and we got a dead even game. Only 41% sitting on District Chris on his last stock. Oh, that could have been bad because Dexter's Cross Chris was DI is DIing in on that. Ooh, good shielding the Dolphin Slash. Oh, Tipper, that's it from across Dreamland. I'm gonna hop off for a quick second, so I just want to see if I'm playing. Okay, my match wasn't called yet, but I do have to play Slock, so... <laughs> Alright, so Chris is gonna go to Fountain of Dreams for game number three. Oh, another counter. I don't know if that's what Tim wanted. He's down to it's really tough to contest for Marth. I call it the shish kebab. Oh, just throws out a random force match and gets punished for it. Oh, another counter. Tim's countering a lot this game this this set. I'm not sure how many are intentional or not. Uh Chris is in trouble right here and he gets edge guarded there. Alright, Tim takes first blood. I think Chris tried to moonwalk right there, and he, he unfortunately he moonwalked right into um, Tim's F smash right there. Oh, goes for the nair, doesn't get it. 
gets interrupted. Nair is a little slow to come out. This should do it. There's the Nair. I don't know if that's down throw or up throw. Uh, because all of Game & Watch's attacks look exactly the same. I mean, all of his throws look exactly the same. You can only tell by direction. And I don't know if that was up... I I'm pretty sure that was down throw. Oh, boy. That's not good. Uh, Winterside stock for Dexter's Chris right now. He's got to make a miracle happen to stay alive. Let's see if he can get something open. That F smash is going to shut down anything he was trying to do right there. Ooh, forward tilt, down tilt. He's on the ledge. Oh, we have a clank. Gets hit with the Nair. I don't think Tim has a jump. No, he does. And he does get back. Oh, close to the Nair. Doesn't get it. Dexter's Chris still hanging on. Barely at 98%. Down tilt. Not going to kill. Gets interrupted with the bear. And Dexter's Chris is in a tough position right now. He's at the ledge. Trying to get to center stage. That double slap is going to do it. And Tim. Three O's. Dexter's Chris. Good effort for Dexter's Chris. That is a very difficult matchup. Okay, guys, um, we'll be back in a moment with another match. Uh, I hope you guys stick around, because we got more Melee coming up right after this. Stick around. What's going on, everybody? It's uh, the man usually behind the curtain, but no longer. Uh, Feral. Definitely want to watch this set. Because I definitely have a lot to learn from. From Slox's Fox. I've already picked up a couple of things and I've realized how useful they were. Like runoff turnaround laser into like back air or whatever. So I'm definitely looking to learn more from them. Already out the gate, that shine grab on shield, just absolutely destroying Toucan. Already a stock up, zero to death. Toucan getting some percent in though. All right, there we go. Toucan deciding, Nana, not really worth it. I'd rather get this couple percent with like a pummel or something. Which I respect, you know. Especially from what I remember, Toucan's Sopo is pretty good. So I mean, like losing Nana is not the end of the world. And we're gonna... Oh, he made it back. Wow, threading the beetle. Up is gonna close that one out though. So, Toucan, he's got a decent amount of ways to go if he's gonna wanna take this game. I mean, oh, Tony's yeah. already putting in work. There we go, that's the first stock up, towards people? Making, making this comeback. What's yeah. up, Artie? Hey. Um, uh, whoa, that's crazy. Um, I feel like I, like that's like a normal ice climbers thing, but I just don't see people do it, like doing the smash attack and then the re grab. I don't know. I've seen infinite numbers do it. But. Honestly, surprised Tony didn't sh or Slox. Surprised he didn't shine there during the side B. Probably would have been an easy kill. Mm. Maybe he was to, covering like fade back to ledge or something. It's hard to beat the the hitbox on new side B sometimes, so you like you don't want to be able to like mix, mess it up. So you always just do something that's like easy to do because they have a lot of end lag when they land anyway. So like you don't want to go for something hard when you have an easier thing that you can get in the future. 
uh -huh. uh, because ice climbers don't it's not like oh ice climbers made it close to the stage so when you hit them they have a, like more options on the ledge so or on the recovery it's like they just get to do side b again like the side b is like so easy to cover that you don't you would rather hit it 10 times than hit it once with something hard mm -hmm. um in my opinion makes sense just with me i'm impatient so i i cover it twice and then i'm just like i gotta do something else I'm like this. yeah so, my mind just like becomes mush when i do the same thing like 10 times <laughs> Ooh. baits out um a get up attack uh really it was slox just getting in position to react to it but often but it made it look like he was coming in with like a dash attack or an air or something Ooh, reads the jump or reacts very quickly Ooh, honestly, wow, Duke can take time. this one. Yeah, it's, it's almost like impossible. Nana's holding him back. It's definitely a little difficult because Popo's recovery, like, you just, if you're Fox here, oh my gosh. It is actually abysmal. Because Popo doesn't even fall fast, doesn't have that much control over their drift, or his drift, um, uh, once the side B is done. And so, like, if you're gonna side B high, which you have to do, because otherwise you can't even make it back to stage, then when you're coming down, you're just like a, an easy target. Oh my god, I didn't realize how much distance you get off side B when you have Nana. Yeah, it's <laughs> maybe, an incredible difference. Maybe Toucan's messing up a little bit, just letting Nana die like that, like the last Ooh. game. Um, yeah, there's certain conditions that make it so that you cannot save Nana. Um, that was one of them, so... Uh, or it's the condition, so... Um... If Nana doesn't have her jump and she gets put into tumble, then she can't escape tumble and she can't be saved. Mm. So, right there, she got she double jumped and then um, got hit and she got put into tumble, so she just can't make it back, no matter what. The only way to save her is to uh, have an opponent hit her back on stage. <laughs> uh, B teleport doesn't like bring her in. No, she Jeez. can't. She can't save her. It's impossible. Like it doesn't even work. Um, if only so, like team damage was on, you know, just whack her with yeah, the Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like you'd rather have that, potentially. <laughs> it wouldn't really make sense. Like, right here, she can jump. Also, Nana always jumps when she has her double jump. Um, uh, either right either right when she's had a hit stun, or when she reaches... Um, jump uh, height with the ledge. Jump height, uh, the height with the ledge. More specifically, it's the last, it's the height that Popo is. Um, but usually that's like the stage. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really easy to hit her off stage, and then because you know when she's gonna jump, she doesn't mess up her drift. She always just full jumps um, and holds it in the whole time. So you know exactly where she's gonna be, and as soon as you hit her there, she's dead. She can't be saved. It doesn't matter if she's at 5%. Um, doesn't matter if the move you did sent her very far at all, it just needs to put her into tumble. Um, so a lot of times, like, is like she jumped right there. It, it, she, the reason she jumped uh, when she was below the ledge instead of at the ledge is because she was below the ledge already when she got out of hit stun, so she jumps immediately. Mm. Um, so because of her deterministic like timing for her jump, it's easy to kill her. And especially characters that, like Fox who get to like split them up with Shine and then trivially push Nana off stage and then hit her after she jumps with something non-committal like Shine. You can jump and then you have so many options in your recovery that Popo like cannot kill you <laughs> consistently oh so right also nana cannot tech it's impossible seriously yeah <laughs> so as soon as you hit her when she falls to the ground you know she's gonna miss tech so you, you always get another hit <laughs> yeah ice climbers are garbage once you realize how easy it is to like destroy their whole ability to play together yeah maybe wobbling shouldn't be banned <laughs> that's what i'm saying i feel like if you, you can just eliminate wobbling if you understand the matchup. Obviously, it doesn't stop the wobbling from happening, because good Ice Climbers players are going to find grabs, and they're going to make sure that you can't kill Nana easy. Um, mm. But the character's not great. Um, yeah, like, getting really wobbling for Ice Climbers is pretty much like, imagine they just got rid of the timer, right? Puff can't <laughs> camp anymore, like, when... Or people just can't camp anymore in general. Like, it gets rid of a win condition... Like, it'd be one thing if it was, like, everybody was going ice climbers and, like, just wobbling because, oh, it's so easy. But, like, I feel like it's really strange to get rid of such a core part of, like, a character's win condition because people are aggravated by it. Yeah. Especially when it's not, like, over-centralizing 
to like what characters win, you know? Yeah. Not like Ice Climbers were running rampant, you know? <laughs> um, still, they have awful matchups against all the top tiers, except Sheik. They wanted to get rid of all the band kids because they're able to do the tempo perfectly. <laughs> Wait, this is winner's quarterfinals? Yeah. Bracket goes a lot, a lot faster when I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, when I would run this stream, I feel like it would take hours before quarterfinals would start. <laughs> it's also, uh... Because winner's quarterfinals, it's like earlier in the tournament now because um, there are more people. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's not like earlier, like... Like, we're more willing to like push the bracket faster because we don't have to save matches because there's so many more matches now, so... We have to get through it. So we push it earlier. Dom just the fastest TO in the land. Yep. It also depends on um, the specific number of entrants, like how many buys. Oh. Yeah. Which makes winners quarterfinals. Uh, if, if there's no buys, it makes it earlier. Um, yeah, the... Uh, Like, depending on if there's a, you can play all the matches at once. Like, when there's 32 people, you can play 16 matches in the first round immediately. But when there's, like, a few less people, you don't get to play 16 matches. So, even though there's not that many less people matches. Mm. Um, I gotta say, Nana's, like, stone cold. Doesn't care about Popo. So, she jumped like, immediately. So right here, Slox? Nope. So Slox had, like, edge guarded. Uh, Popo, and then is just like standing there chilling with Slocks on stage. Yeah, just she doesn't care. <laughs> you would think she would be a little more loyal. Yeah, like, like angry, They've like you together. just killed my best friend. Yeah. I thought PM Ice Climbers AI was bad, and then Artie just gave the schooling on this, and this terrible. Yeah, Ice Climbers <laughs> are garbage. At least in PM, Nana will like do things. <laughs> She'll at least like try to recover on her own. Yeah, she like air dodges the ledge. Yeah. Alright. What's up, people? I think I'm playing. I think I'm up. Yeah, yeah. pointed. You're on stream? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, good luck. I gotta say, this hairstyle looks a lot better when it's not on camera. <laughs> Maybe it's just the lighting as well, because I look pale as fuck with this black shirt on, but... <laughs> Turn up the exposure on the camera. I look so. I look like the fucking. Mo <laughs> I look so pale right now. I can't. <laughs> I mean, like I am pale, but like, damn, like this camera's exaggerating. <laughs> so I think up next. Oh, it's Artie Speeds. Okay, this is gonna be a little interesting. I could probably learn from this too, depending on who Speeds decides to play. Uh. I'm gonna go ahead and guess Falcon, which means I won't have much to learn, but if he plays Fox, that'd be nice. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't learn much from the last set. Because, like, once Artie sat down and I had to focus on the conversation, I couldn't really pay attention to the game. But, we're gonna get a Fox! So, I could learn a little bit, especially because I hate playing against floaties, you know, so... Let's see how Spees handles this. Don't need a Yoshi's. So, my guess, I couldn't really see who was saying what, but my guess is Artie banned to Yoshi's, because, like, it's a smaller stage. It doesn't give Fox as much space to run away. Right. And already, while I'm giving that explanation, Artie is just able to squeeze out a stock. And now the favor's returned. Ooh, you've really got to watch out for those down smashes. Yet another reason hate Peach. I mean, like, as, as much as a lot of people, like, complain about it, there is counterplay to it. Like, you know, you press the up button and you pretty much get out of it, especially at higher percents. But it's pretty much like um, an execution test. It's like, okay, are you going to hold down the entire time and take 70 damage? Oh, good tech. He can live this. Oh, Randall, no! If he had been there just a second sooner. Alrighty. So it's back to even. I love the noise that Pan makes, honestly. Like, <laughs> it's, it's just a... 
the other two noises are all right, but like the pan is just a whole nother level. All right, so Artie wave dashing on a platform, trying to play punish game, and it worked out. He was able to take that entire stock just from that one punish in neutral. Speed is gonna have to be a little bit more careful here. Yeah, like taking all that percent from those down smashes, like that's not what you want to do, especially yeah. against Artie. Yeah, that's a thing with uh, Peach's down smash. It just does way so much damage if you crouch cancel. It's crazy. There's no way that. There's no way Spee's knew that Randall was there. Randall was off screen and Spee's teched on Randall. Damn. Maybe think... he was aiming to tech like ledge or something, but that's insane. I think he was trying to go for the wall. Oh! Nice up smash on Randall. Already smiling, even he thought that was amusing. <laughs> He's smiling through the mask. Artie's like an eye smiler. Like there's like there's two kinds of smilers. There's mouth smilers and there's eye smilers. Artie's definitely an eye smiler. <laughs> I like that. Oh, oh, that was a great wait by Artie. He's so smart when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, Artie's really patient when it comes to punishes. Like, if you, if he needed to, he would sit there for seven minutes and fifty-nine seconds to get that punish if he really, really <laughs> needed it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, going to battlefield for game number two. It's definitely a better box stage. I'm honestly surprised. I, you would think, like, the way I see it, you would want to pick Pokemon because you want to have those platforms to get away from, like, the Peach up throw, but you also want to have a long stage to, like, run away and make use of, like, the speed. Because, like, when you're staying out of Peach's range, Peach is a little bit slower than Fox, so you can just go to the other side, dash dance, wait out their option, and then go punish it, and then, oh, they're approaching me, just go to the other side. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess Speed's must have, uh seen something in Artie's play that maybe he adapted. And he's just working out so far, he is in the lead. He can also camp the top platform too. Peach has a hard time getting to that top platform. If there's one thing I've noticed, it's Spees is really good at knowing when to quit like a combo against floaties. Cause like, you'll see a lot of people try and combo floaties like they're a fast faller cause they don't really consciously think about that knockback. And then they'll get caught out where, like, right out of hit stun, they're getting hit, and, like, there's a reversal because they overextended in a combo. Oh, yeah. Oof. That down, that down smash did make him eat a lot of damage, but he does get the stock. Oh, now, if, that I, was... if my memory serves me correctly, Speez is six on the PR, right? Uh... He's either eight or six. I, no, he's he's sixth, I think. Yeah. So this is this is the sixth on the PR versus the. Or no, is he fifth? Oh god, I'm trying to think because I think Artie was five or four. Artie was five. Okay, so Artie was five. Speeds was six. So this is pretty close. This okay, is, so Artie is. Artie is, is six. Artie's not Artie's, six. Or that's maybe that's speed. Speed is six. Artie's. Wait, then what was speed? Five. Speeds must have been five then. Okay, so Speeds. So this is the five, fifth and sixth PR. Yeah, because um, I, I know players. the top four was Slox, uh, Warmer, Kiko Ho, Yami. So that yeah. must make Speeds five and Artie six. Which is which? Oh, actually, no. I think no. Trails number five. Trails five. So then Artie is six. Oh, that makes Speed. Speed seven. No, Speeds is eight because Nitro is seven, I believe. Oh, right, well, whatever. Oh, <laughs> that was sick. Very clutch gimp by Artie right there. Regardless, Artie eking out that game up 2-0. The Battle of the Colossus here. Uh, two PR'd. Yeah, so Speeds is eight, okay. We should probably have a list of that handy somewhere. I think so. Ooh, that was unfortunate for Speeds taking all that damage from the down smash. All right. He's still in the lead, though. Ooh, Ooh. that was what? He does no float. No. Oh, no, but he does get the kill. All right. Good thing for Speeds, he's able to wave dash. Or, <clears throat> sorry, not wave. Everybody can wave, wave dash. Wave. No, 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 ledge dash. Ledge dash. He's able to ledge dash there and able to get a punish on uh, Artie landing on stage. Yeah, causing Artie to panic a little bit with that shine.
Ooh, oh, that could have been a gimp situation right there. Spees can make this back. Oh, uh, no, he but he gets the, the wrong end. angle. Wrong angle. I think he was actually at a spot where the angle was impossible because if he tried to go for it, it would have snapped to the cardinal direction. So he might have wanted to delay that just a little bit. Wow. Which is one thing I hate, because like as much as like it makes sense, because like it's gonna be really hard to get the cardinal directions if it doesn't snap to it. But at the same time, I feel like it's very limiting. You know, I, I like to think my angles are good, and sometimes you just like have the angle that's too good and it snaps to the card, like that I know. situation. Yeah, melee is weird with its uh, sti with its stick reading. Like I do, I try and do Icy's down smash a lot, and I end up getting back throw so many times, and I'm like, why? Why? Like, half of my down throws are back throws now, and I hate it. Do you ever get that thing where you're DI'ing to, like, a diagonal upwards direction, and then, like, you automatically buffer a jump out of hit stun when you're just trying to fade out or something like that? I get that whenever I try to wiggle out of hit stun. I did that against uh, Dudu Stai at GamerCon on my last stock. I, th I think it was last stock for us Game 3. And then he hits me, I'm so po. I try to wiggle out a hit stun and I double jump and as soon as that happens I'm like, oh no. Yeah. And then I and then he back stares me, I have no jump and I die, and I'm like, God damn it. Yeah. Man, that can be really strange sometimes. Yeah, shout out to Deuce Die, by the way. Hope he's doing good. Honestly, I think Spees could take this game back. Even though he might Oh that, <laughs> that the power, power shield. shield. Even though he might be down. See, like up smash. Artie's not dead yet, but just like another one. And oh, oh, he had it there, but Artie with the air dodge. With the shield drop uh, back air. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, just walk up and grab him. <laughs> this should be an edge guard. Yep. That I, I'm sorry, that was just so funny to watch that. Yo, did he just walk up slowly and grab him? <laughs> Speeds is just waiting for Artie. Oh, shoot. As he should. Oh, no. oh, no. I don't know if he meant it. I don't know if that was uh, him giving up, but he had no reason to give up there. I think that was on purpose. I wouldn't blame him. Uh, definitely was. It was making sense to wait like that, especially against uh, Peach, who's a slower character. But I guess yeah. it just happens sometimes. You know, you, you get in your own head. You just like, do it. like, I don't feel like playing this. I have another set I could play in Losers or something, you know? Yeah, I guess you want to keep your energy going. Yeah, unfortunate to see that, though, because <clears throat> it was last stock, though. I mean, and the percents were kind of even, so I would say at least play it out. Yeah, but at the same time, you got to save your mental energy sometimes. You don't want to burn yourself out trying to go for something that you can't get. Yeah, get that. I see that. But I wouldn't throw away a stuff like that. Alright. I know so we I got. Think, I think we have Keto up next because I heard Link. Yeah, I saw Keto sit down. I'm honestly mad too. Today, I, I had to. You already know because you were there when I was complaining at the TO desk. I played Jay on stream and I lost to Jay and I had to play Keto in losers. Like, my losers was harder right. than my winners set. Like, that happens sometimes. <laughs> it does happen. I, I mean, I've. I've been that way in Smash Ultimate, trust me. It's very frustrating. Just to, to lose to someone in wears and then you're like, oh great, PR player and losers, what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, that's... Thanks, Toucan. Thanks for sending Keto to lose. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't have beaten you either, so <laughs> it wouldn't have made a difference. But... <laughs> you're welcome, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but we have Keto versus Weewa. They showed their um, set history um, when the PR was announced tonight, I actually forget, uh, but I, th I think, I know P uh, Keto has one win off of Wiwa. Oh no! Alright, he's, oh no, too low for the hook shot recovery, he SDs. Why couldn't Keto do that against me? Oh my god, the shield pressure with the projectiles is insane! Absolutely insane. It's tricky. The bombs are very tricky because they don't blow up on shield. They bounce off it, which means if you try to approach, you're going to get hit by the bomb. And it's funny, too. Playing against Keto, his edge guards with the projectiles are insane. Like, I was coming back to stage. The first projectile hit me. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, okay, no. And, like, the other projectiles aren't going to hit me. And then the second one hits me. And I'm like, oh, no way the third projectile hits me. And then the third one hits me. Like, I got hit by all three of the projectiles. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, this this dude's doing trigonometry for each fucking edge guard. It's crazy. Yeah, Keto's a very smart player. Some of the bomb subs he does, even on himself, like, he'll blow himself up on the, on the platform with a bomb. 
they get off very fast and punish you or edge guard. Yeah. Asking you, Sal Rashi, speak of the devil. See all the setups. I think, thinking back to their um, their set count, I think it's one, two in Miwa's favor. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, oh good edge guard. I don't think he's getting back. Oh, he has a bomb. Nope, nah. doesn't get the bomb jump. Bomb's not really reliable. I, I remember when I was just like fucking around with the game when I first started playing. I was like, how do people do this? Like this this bomb stuff just does not work in melee. Like in yeah. the newer games, it's a lot easier, but in this one, like the bomb will just straight up not explode sometimes when you hit it. I know it's it, it depends on what hitbox you hit it with, I guess, or something like that. Then yeah. again, I have no clue what Link's hitboxes are. I don't know what his sweet spots or sour spots are. It's not like Marth where it's the tipper. Marth is easy to understand because it's the tipper, but Link, I don't think he has one. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's like a sweet spot like that. It's just more of like the regular uh, moves where you have the hard hit and then like the soft hit or the sour spot. Mm. So it's there's it's potentially where like the bomb is just getting hit with the sour spot of the move and it's not making it explode. Makes sense. Oh, and that upbeat is powerful, too. Sends you at a horrible angle if you hit, get hit under it. Oh, no! Misses that F smash barely. That would have killed. Dashing Ooh. under the boomerang just to get hit by it on the way back. Oh, but he gets clipped under stadium, though. A really unfortunate. Still can make this comeback, though. Honestly, bring back the transformations. I want to see goofy shit. Like... People going through the stage from the tree. Oh, come <laughs> on, man. No way. I mean, I love the transformations, but at the same time, we're kind of far past that at this point. I just miss it. My most memorable memory in Melee has to do with that with uh, that glitch. At, like, Shine 2018. Oh, I was in the audience when I saw that. Yeah, I was, I was there and I was watching it. Like, S2J getting that on Plup. Like, I'm never going to forget that. It was crazy. Me too. That was insane when that happened. Oh. Sadly, no fun allowed. Never going to happen again. Yeah, unfortunately. But it's all right. We don't need it. Oh, he just misses ledge. Really unfortunate. I'm going to hop up for a quick second. I got to blow my nose. Okay. All right, so Wiwa taking game one. Keto bringing him to FD, which makes sense. Marth does not have any projectiles at all, so it makes it a lot easier to zone him. You know, no platforms to escape to. Especially with Marth, Wiwa's really good at playing off platforms, so taking those away from him makes his game plan a lot more uh, easier to understand. Like, there's less options, less stuff to worry about. I did the same thing, you know. Took him to FD, tried to shoot as many lasers as I could, because it can't get away from it, you know? Surprise, though. I feel like he's throwing less projectiles now that the platforms are gone. But the game's just started, so who knows? I gotta say, this is pretty close. A minute has gone. No stocks taken. They're both above 100. I know. It's a war of attrition. Oh, I don't think Hito's getting back from that. Oh, oh, maybe he is. Oh, the That's counter misses. Insane. He does. Keto with the insane recovery. You just had to say something, too, kid. <laughs> <laughs> the good old comment. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, and he barely doesn't die off the top. Both players almost at 200, not a stock on. And as I say that. Insane. Very insane play from both players. But Keto's going to come out on top right there. He's sitting at 208. Now he's going to die. 208% though. Man, a half in, only one stock gone apiece. Oh. Dash attack just missing. Like, any closer, and it probably would have been a phantom hit. Probably. Oops, that's a punish right there. Oh, what? Doesn't go for the up air, instead it goes for a bomb. Interesting play. That must have been a misinput. There's no way 
<laughs> he thought he would have had time for that. Mars is floaty. Yeah, very interesting. Ooh, edge cancels the up B, okay. We get it, Keto, you're insane. He's insane, but that dare is not gonna be able to contest that up tilt, though. I gotta play? Alright, cool. I'll hop off this room. You can has gotta play a set in bracket. This should be an easy edge guard here. Oh no! Doesn't make it there in time. Wiwa does an early recovery to catch Keto slacking. But he's able to take the stock, making it even yet again. Two stocks, two stocks. And right as I say that, I, I need to stop mentioning the stock count. It's just, <laughs> whenever I do, somebody loses a stock. Wiwa with a decent lead here. He definitely... I'd be really surprised if Keto was able to take this back. Like, this is a not a good position to be in. An entire stock behind against Marth on FD. Not where you want to be. That's for sure. Now, honestly, I want to see Wiwa try and punish that uh, grapple to the wall more. Um, I'm not sure how easy it is or how practical it is, but he could, like, drop down a B and hit Keto out of the chain. And then Keto has to tech it, which is really bad because Link's up B out of like a tech wall jumper, just like a tech in general, like a wall tech, is really bad. Especially because like Link's up B has terrible drift that way because it turns you around. So like Link's up B has terrible backwards drift, making it really easy to edge guard that. But who knows? If you're watching this, if you're going over this set, we want definitely lab that out and get back to me. Now I gotta say, I, I know I, I know I said Keto couldn't really make this back before, but it's, it's looking scary, and he did. Quite the comeback from Keto. Like, if you told me that Keto made that comeback, like, if you went back in time two minutes and told me Keto was making that comeback, I wouldn't have believed you. That was really good. Gotta give him props for that. Now again, these projectiles from Hito just so precise. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Keto was like some sort of engineer with how precise he is with these, these projectiles. You know, all the math he's got to calculate in his head, all the trajectories. Like, you look at the, the like the, the credits, if, if there even are any for NASA, right? If you just look at the list of personnel, Keto's definitely on there somewhere. It was good awareness on Keto, realizing that he could just hold ledge there. Martha wasn't really in a position to up be back to stage. Which a lot of people have trouble with, like, reading, honestly. I don't... Not sure what it is, maybe people are just scared, but I feel like a lot of people, um... I think a lot of people just let Marth come back for free in moments that he doesn't need to. You know, like... Marth is such an easy edge guard, but people just let him back to stage. You know, I was kind of rambling there. I, uh, spaced out in the middle of my sentence, but you get what I'm saying. Keto definitely showing otherwise, though. He's done a really good job at... Making sure Wiwa just doesn't get back to stage for free. Which is, I mean, I guess it's somewhat easier. What happened there? Did Link's grapple just get battlefielded? Is that what I just witnessed? I saw the thing in the wall, and he fell and died. Maybe it was... 
I think it actually has, like, physics, so I think it might have just been resting on top of it. Who knows? You know, boys to take this game. My prediction is this is definitely going to game five. So, like, if you're not interested in this matchup, definitely go. Like, you got time to go use the bathroom, you know, maybe grab dinner, grab a snack, something. Who knows? But definitely have some time for the next set. Oh, okay. And the tech. This is definitely forward air percent for Marth. Gets hit by one forward air and that's an offstage situation, which Kido is really good at dealing with. But Wiwa making this look dangerously close. I mean, honestly, if I were either of these players, I'd be scared, but... Especially Kido, because he's the closer one to the ledge. Smash, not going to do it quite yet. Both of these players at really high percent. I mean, that's, that's just regular Marthritis, right? But I'm, I'm especially surprised Kido hasn't been able to take this stock just yet. Oh, is this how it ends? Yep. Oh, wait! Oh my god, Wiwa, all you had to do was hold ledge, dude! Come on! If Wiwa doesn't take... Okay, I was gonna say, if Wiwa doesn't take this stock, like, I'm gonna yell at him. <laughs> Going to FOD. Ooh, that F smash hurt. Whenever, like, there's a tipper and, like, the screen shakes, like, I feel that. Ooh, okay, custom combos. Go off, Wiwa. And another F Smash will take it. These platforms are just really scary. I'm surprised Kido went to this stage. Like, you really don't want to give Marth these platforms to play off of. It's just so scary. It's the part that makes this matchup really aggravating for me as a Falco player, because, like, you don't want to be under Falco on a platform, right? Like, if Falco's on a platform, like, you stay the fuck away from it, right? But with Marth, it's the opposite. Like, you don't want to be on a platform above him. So, like, that just, like, screws up my entire game plan. And Kido's definitely feeling the brunt of that. Two times gets F-smashed while on a platform, and it kills. And we're already at last stock, and it's only 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Only a minute and a half has gone into this game. And Kido only has one stock left to play with. I honestly feel bad for Kido. If he didn't have to play somebody as like easy to read as me, he probably could have done better this set. He was used to playing against somebody that's easy to, to read or whatever, you know? Couldn't adapt, because he didn't need to adapt the previous... I mean, I don't know. That, that sounds pretty dumb to say out loud, but it, it was funnier in my head. <laughs> So up next, Kim the Guy.
Who's he playing against? Oh, Tim the Guy and Tony. Okay. So we got Slocks and Tim the Guy on stream. All right. This is this is definitely something I'm going to want to write down because Marth Fox is a matchup I need to learn about. I bet a lot of people watching the stream right now need to learn about that too because that's not a fun matchup. Don't pretend like it is. Fuck floaties, okay? Get your get your your pencil, get your piece of paper. You know, maybe if you like typing, your typewriter. I don't know if we got any typewriters in chat. Pay attention to what you're going to see, because this set is definitely going to be interesting to watch, if not educational. You see, like I mentioned before, both of them are on platform, and it makes Marth so much easier to just do what he wants. Like, Battlefield, not the stage you want to go to, in my opinion. Not enough stage to play, I mean, not enough room to play with. Especially with the height of the platforms. Now the gameplay has definitely slowed down a little bit. Tim, like, went in guns blazing, got like 90%, and then it kind of just slowed down, you know? Started to go too far to really do anything. Classic Marthritis. Who still has his jump? Fools? Fools? Slocks, I think. But I mean, like, regardless, he had it covered, so it didn't matter. Oh, Marth F Smash. That's just... The most aggravating move in the game, especially in this matchup. You died to that shit at like 50. Like a raw F smash and neutral. Like, get this character out the game. Surprised? If, if Slox had just been a little bit closer in light shielding, he could have done like the Drew NG. Would have been an easy edge guard. For those of you who don't know what the Drew and G is, it's the backwards Marth Killer, pretty much, where you do the Marth Killer, but you're facing away from the stage, and, like, you shine off. It's so, like, once you're actionable, you just shine, and it destroys Marth. So it's still looking pretty good for Tim the Guy. Like, if, if you considered, like, seeding, you definitely would think Slocks would have a, uh, just an advantage in general. But this game so far, Tim the guy's been playing pretty well. He look, he has him stuck on the platform. He's exactly where he wants him to be. Tony's gotta figure out a way to stay away from those platforms if he wants to take this game, and it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So Tim the guy taking the first game with two stocks, which is honestly honestly pretty good. All things considered. Like Tim the guy I don't even think was on PR this season, most likely due to attendance. Like he didn't really attend that many uh, tournaments in season one. But definitely a great way to start off Season 2, that's for sure. Taking a game off of Slocks, no easy feat. Quite the accomplishment. Now let's see if he can keep this up and take a second one. Hell, even maybe a set. Because again, I'm, I'm not sure if maybe there's something I'm not understanding, but Slocks is taking him to these stages where there's just platforms for Marth to play with. And I mean, Dreamland, definitely better than Battlefield, because at least it's wider, it gives you the room to like run away and play Punish if you need to, but those platforms are just like, not good for Fox. They're just spaces in general, really. Oh! I expected at least one of them to die in that interaction, and I was pleasantly surprised when neither of them did. They're both just that good. That was definitely an awkward position to be in. This should be the stock. All he had to do was hold ledge. But that works too. Ooh, 
unfortunate for Tim. Slocks with the awareness to grab ledge. <laughs> saying, that, saying that out loud, it doesn't really sound like much, but in the moment, you know, that specific interaction, it was really quick. His reflexes were on point there. Ooh, Dreamland might not have been the stage to fix Lux. That up smash would have killed if you weren't playing on this stupid ass stage. I hate this stage. But that should be it right there. Oh, he makes it back to, to the stage, but it does not matter. I've been staying stage too much, but what other word would I use? Um, and as I've been talking about this counter pick being questionable, Slock has had quite the lead. Up to who's stocked right now? Boys to take the last one. This might be it right here. I'm surprised he didn't drop down Shine. That would have been over. No, oh, there, there's the shine we were looking for. So 1-1. One, one. Slock's firing back, definitely showing it's not going to be easy. If Tim the guy wants to take this set, he's going to have to fight for it. Getting the laser off, putting himself in the lead. If he had been there to punish that, that would have been unfortunate for Tim. I'm surprised Slox didn't just grab again there. He he whipped the dash grab, and Tim just stayed in shield facing away from him. He could have went for another grab for free. Now, I know before I was mentioning how platforms are like bad in this matchup, but the complete absence of platforms is a whole nother thing. For those of you who don't know, Marth has like a crazy grab game on spaces, especially once those platforms are gone. It makes it a lot easier. It limits uh, Spacey's ability to get away from it. But even with that upwards SDI, Slox is able to get that up smash off of the jab. That, that sword just went through Slox. Like... I don't understand why that didn't hit. I, I guess Smash truly is a 3D fighting game. I'd have to look back at the VOD for that. Ooh, Tim. That was pretty good, using the side B off stage there to delay give himself the time to up B before Slox just holds ledge like that. I don't know, if you if you had asked me before the set what the outcome was going to be, I definitely would have said uh, Slox, but my mind has been changed now. This uh, third game is definitely seeming more Marth favored, especially given the counter pick. But I definitely say this game is going to go to Tim. So, if if Slox is going to win this, he's got to bring it to game five. And if I remember correctly, Rishi plays Marth. So it's almost crazy to think that Tony had the reverse whatever I didn't really watch it but at the nightclub he beat Rishi for grands and won the nightclub and he's having all this trouble against Tim the guy maybe it's just a testament to how good Tim the guy is I definitely like how calm and collected Tim is though throughout this entire set like I, I when I used to watch him play too he always seems so calm and collected and just focused Tony being a little cautious about he how he proceeds with this edge guard because he doesn't want to get reversal. You know, getting caught out on an edge guard like that, especially on this stage, is going to be detrimental. He wants to play as much as he can, try and take the stock, and it's getting pretty close too. 
But Tim the guy clutching out the game. Doing a pretty damn good job at it, too, if you ask me. But it's not out of the cards just yet for Slox. I definitely could see him winning that, uh, winning this set. He's got a lot to work to do, though. Now, if you ask me, Battlefield is definitely a pretty good pick. Makes it a little bit harder for Marth uh, to recover, given you can't just like ride a wall with your recovery on this stage. Like you have to be more precise with the way you recover, and it makes it a lot easier, more telegraphed to uh, edge guard Marth. Tony or Slox wasting his double jump on stage in neutral and gets punished for it. Makes it a lot easier to take that stock for Tim. I mean, we're only a minute in so far, but this is looking pretty even. Uh, like, even though this is uh, Slox's counter pick, you would think it'd be going a little bit better for him. Ooh, the sh movement. Dash back into wave dash forward, forward smash. I'd be pissed if I got hit by that. Yeah, but like, you, like, Marth is so fucking slippery, and he has a huge, like, threat bubble, too. Like, how the fuck do you space against this motherfucker? Not even contesting ledge there. Yeah, it's, it's slocks? I mean, that was, that was worked out. Seemed a little questionable to me, but I'm starting to get a little bit. Marth is at up smash percent. Didn't really need to contest and risk a, uh... Reversal off stage there. He was confident in his ability to get that up smash in neutral. Mm. Just out of range for that grab. Slocks getting a decent amount of percent off of that one interaction. And it's not over yet. This is back to even. I gotta say, it was looking pretty Marth favorite before, but Slox is starting to bring it back in his favor. It's snowballing. He's looking poised to take this game without even losing another stock. Taking it to game five. Ooh, good awareness on Tim, realizing that that angle isn't really possible. Able to go and just get in position for a forward smash to take the stock. Ooh, this could be it! Yeah, this... That's... Wow! That's Marth! Folks, that's 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 just Marth. Tim doing a really good job, though. I gotta say, that 3-1 was not easy at all. He definitely earned that. That was good. That was really good. Up next, we got Kikaho and Artie. Uh, so for you Marth enjoyers, you degenerates, uh, you got another set to look for. So don't go anywhere just yet. Already taking a sweet time sitting down on the seat. Now I say this every time I commentate a Kikoho set. For those of you who don't know, who might be, might be confused, what the hell is 776? Like this is such an arbitrary number. Now, you're not wrong, but it's actually the a part of a Fire Emblem title. It's a Fire Emblem Thrasia 776, and from what I remember, that is Kikaho's favorite title in the series. Now, I'm not sure what the 776 in the fucking title stands for exactly, but... Yeah, maybe it has a re uh, meaning, I don't know, but that's what the 776 uh, in his tag and game is referencing. Now, honestly, when I see two floating on the screen like this, my mind checks out. Like, it's just like, all right, I, I don't want to pay attention to this. But I definitely, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't really know where I was going with that, other than the floaty hate, honestly. But definitely interesting. Both characters that are a little bit more difficult to combo, but it's, when it comes to combo, Marth definitely has the advantage 
in this matchup because his sword is just so damn big. You, like, just you gotta watch out and be so careful. I mean, Artie's really good with uh, spacing too. It's also known as the fastest Peach. But you gotta be pretty damn fast to get out of Marth's uh, sword range, that's for sure. Hiko waiting out that air dodge just knows it's gonna happen. You're just gonna throw away Mr. Saturn like that? You monster! No wonder you play a float. Well, that should be the stock. Oh my god! Kikoho getting up from the ledge just a tad bit early. And yes, we're getting British in here. His forward airs sending Peach out of any sort of range for a follow-up, but the reverse up B is going to take it. Now, I don't know the uh, the set count for these two off the top of my head. I want to say it's like 6-1 or something like that in Kikoho's favor, but Artie can do it. Even though there's a large uh, disparity in their win-loss ratio, definitely doesn't mean that Artie's out. You know, because from what I remember, their sets are always pretty close. Ooh, good reversal there. Oh! What a turn up! Artie is an artist. And turnips are his brush. And melee is the canvas that everybody gets to witness. That was beautiful. <laughs> Kikoho had pretty good awareness there off of that down smash. Uh, didn't take much percent off of it at all. But, I don't know. 95% got the crowd cheering for Peach. I wouldn't really say that uh, Kikoho's got much of a chance left in this game. Like, if anything, this is Artie's game to lose. And that Nair will do it. Kikoho just could not overcome the Marthritis, leaving Peach at 148. Not able to really get a kill off of it. And they're going to FD. Now, quite the reversal there, but if you ask me, the stage is called Final Destination, right? Honestly, you shouldn't be able to counterpick to it. It should just be the stage that people are forced to go to on uh, the last game in the set. So, like, in a best of five goes to game five, you gotta go FD. Best of three, game three, you gotta go to FD. It is the Final Destination. Like, come on, get on that. Where are my TOs? Like not named Final Destination for no reason. Now, I'm not sure which one came first, Melee or uh, Kirby's Air Ride? Whatever, I, I don't remember the exact title, but um, I do believe that they both have a game themed like this. I don't know if they're, if it's called Final Destination and Kirby Air Ride, but it's definitely like the same uh, aesthetic. Like it makes sense because the uh, the developer, or not the developer, wow, the uh, the creator of Kirby, right? Pretty much the person who created Kirby is um, also the brains behind Smash as well. So I'm not surprised in one bit.
Now we're starting to get in Marth Rightist range, especially without the platforms. Any sort of upwards attack will send each too far away from Marth to really um, follow up on. And it looks like we're starting to get to the point where even like horizontal attacks are doing so as well. Didn't really have time to rush in F Smash off of that forward tilt. Ooh, good heck from Kikoho. He saw Artie throw that Peach up, and he's like, nah, I learned from that last fucking game. You're not doing that to me again. Doesn't look like Artie needed it, though. Just a couple pummels and a forward smash was enough to finish that stock off. Don't really know what to say about that, though. Artie's losing his mind. He's going senile. That air dodge? Maybe he was trying to... I don't know, warp through some sort of interdimensional warp pool to get back to stage, but I don't think that's in this game. Yeah, F Smash not doing it. Looks pretty close though, but already knows his DI. That up air? Honestly insane. Tucking Peach's legs up, bringing her model away from the F Smash. Not sure if it was intentional, but it definitely, uh, definitely worked out, that's for sure. <laughs> it's always funny to see somebody do crazy, um, attack or like a high APM sort of thing in neutral just to see them get, like, destroyed on the interaction. Reminds me of like Indiana Jones where the dude's like swinging the sword around trying to look cool and then Indiana Jones just whips out the revolver and like shoots him. <laughs> it's like look, you're not scaring anybody with all that movement. And this, oh he has his float, okay. But that should do it. So we're definitely getting a game four, sadly. That's, that's just more Marth for us to have to subject ourselves to, unfortunately. And I know some of you in chat are probably saying, but I like Marth. Like, why are you talking shit? And to that, I have to say, you have bad taste. <laughs> Before, when I didn't take the game seriously, I always used to be like, why do people complain about floaties? Why do people complain about Marth? Like, why do people complain about swords, you know? Like, just deal with it, it's part of the game. But now that I've started taking the game seriously, and like, trying to learn, I've realized their frustration. And like, I get it, maybe like some of your favorite players play Marth, right? So, that's somewhat understandable, because it's more the the player instead of the character. But I would be surprised if you could find anybody that genuinely enjoyed playing against Marth or watching Marth. Hell, I, I bet that like, even Marth players don't like Marth. They're just good with Marth, so they play Marth. Like, if pool players didn't play Marth, character would have been modded out of the game by now. It would have been over. If Ken didn't play Marth when the game first came out, it would be a very different timeline. Big Nose Billy saying he loves playing against Weewa. You, you have issues. <laughs> I don't know if you need to see a therapist, but like playing against Weewa's Marth is not how you uh, deal with your frustrations in a healthy way. <laughs> we're we're gonna be here for a while. That's what I've been waiting for. Every time a floaty loses a stock, I. I cheer. Even when I'm playing a floaty, when I lose a stock, I'm just like, YES! Like... And at 40%, <laughs> that forward smash sending each off screen. If, uh... Artie was playing a Spacey, that would have been the end of that stock. Man, that's, that's the sad thing to think about. That the, one of the only reasons that Artie lived was one, because Artie's sick, but two, he's playing a floaty. One with a incredible horizontal recovery, mind you. 
But I definitely wouldn't go so far as to say that Hardy is carrying that character. He's really good. Like, he fucks me up with any character, honestly. But... There's an objective truth, and that objective truth is that floaties suck. And if you play a floaty, I hate you. Oh, what a tech! Kiko just throwing out these forward airs. Already not really able to DI out of it because that's how, that's how forward air works. It's, it's uh, the strangest trajectory. You just go straight up even though he swings his sword forward. Not sure um, what the physical differences are in Marth's sword between his forward air and his forward smash, but he swings the sword in the same direction. So why don't the, uh, the characters go in the same direction when they're hit by it, you know? Like, it doesn't make sense. Who made this game? Like, come on. You didn't know what you were doing. Get this guy out of here. Alright, so both of them are about... Wow, they're almost actually at the exact same percent for a moment. Kiko Ho. Able to take the stock. I was going to mention his 50% lead, but now he's turned it into a stock lead. Ooh, he goes for the double dip. I can respect that. Didn't work out. But... Definitely would have been interesting to see. And he misses the tech twice and air dodges twice and takes the stock. Or, sorry. In this situation, it would be loses the stock. But unfortunate for Kikoho. He definitely has a little bit of ground to recover now if he wants to win this. Honestly, here I'm rooting for Kikoho because I just I don't I don't want to see this matchup anymore. That's only going to serve to make it easier for Artie to make it back. I don't think that, that back air was really what you need to go for. We're getting into... Wow. I was going to say Martha Wright's range, but it didn't really seem like Artie had an answer to make it back to stage. Artie, taking a little nap there. Need a little time to recover. I gotta say, Peach's, like, animation when she knocked down like that, like, surprisingly serene for, like, somebody who, like, just got, like, molly -wop. Like, if I just got hit and I was lying on the ground, I doubt I would look as serene and majestic as that looked. Like, where's, like, the... F oh, here we go. Third time the charm. He can do it. I honestly, I want to see it. I want to see it work. <laughs> I can't tell if he's like messing up or if he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> no. Already could have done that for five more minutes. I believe in him. Honestly, Ikaho, why are you camping the stage like that? Approach him. Go attack him down there. Show him who the superior character is. Ooh, down till able to poke him. All right. Kikoho able to take that set 3-1. No, stop showing my pale ass on the fucking screen. At least adjust. 
<laughs> Hold on, I'm going to show you how to adjust the exposure so I don't look so fucking pale. Go to the camera on the, on uh, commentary. And then click here. Click again. No, no, no. Click again. Left click. Click again. Right click. Uh, properties. Configure video. And it's going to open up on the right. And then go to camera control. Uh, check this. And then drag it to the left one. Make, make sure it's unchecked. Make sure it's unchecked. No, do it. I want to see you do it. <laughs> but no, five. Negative five. Yep. Hit apply. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Watch. She's going to transition and I'm still going to look pale as fuck. Eh, it looks a little better. At least I'm not making it hard. Like, when I was looking at the monitor before, when I was on the screen with this light right here, like, I was blinding myself. Like, I couldn't fucking see. Like, I, I was like a mirror just reflecting light into the fucking camera. <laughs> but I think Artie is going back on stream. Is that the case? We also have access to this now to answer all of your questions. Oh, there we go. Thank you. So those of you, for those of you who missed it earlier at 7.15, we unveiled the PR for Season 1, uh, Spring 2022, and what you're looking at is the order. So definitely get your, uh, give your eyes a little feast before we move on to this set. We're going to be watching Peach versus Pikachu. Definitely, the definitely a diverse cast, right? Um, let's see, you got two Icy players. Oh, it's gone. Oh. More, more on that later. Artie versus Spades. Not sure what round it is, but... Regardless, this is a loser set, I know that. Oh, it's loser's quarters. Okay, that's good. Or, not good for the players, because not... They, I bet both of these players would prefer to be on winner's side, but... It doesn't work out that way. I honestly don't really have much to say for this set. And I'm hungry as fuck. So I'm probably going to check out, have some food. And I'll probably be able to do that by the time this set is over. So you might see me back, uh, I don't know, what, game three? <laughs> game game five? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It was fun commentating for you all.
VR. I was not on the PR.
What's up, gamers? Winners finals. Um, obviously, this is not the matchup we expected in winners finals. Um, I would have expected Slox and Kikaho, but Slox got upset, um, and he ended up DQing out of losers, so maybe he's not feeling so great today, or maybe he's just. If he's playing bad, he'll DQ. Like he needs to reset. He doesn't want to make it feel worse. Whatever he's going through, you know? What's up, AJ? Murderer? What do you mean, murderer? <laughs> we got some Marths. There's like basically just Marths in the bracket now. I actually don't know who's in losers besides, uh. besides me. Oh, murdered spades. Well. Hey, winning a set doesn't isn't murder. It's what we sign up for. Everyone signs up for losing twice except for one person. Hotline? I beat PPMD on stream. So where that came from is I used to play PPMD um, weekly or twice a week um, on his stream because he played subs. And I got great Falco practice with him um, twice a week. And I got really close to beating him two times, but I played him like 50 times. Um, like, we're talking game five, last stock. Uh, and um, it's just people started acting like I had beaten him for like no reason. And then people said beat PP on stream, and then there's innuendo there, of course. Uh, I did not do that. PPMD is, the, is what people are talking about. <laughs> Where that came from was it actually happened. I actually just destroyed the PPMD from the duck from twi Pound 2015 or whatever tournament. What's up? We got Okami sitting on the mic I with think, me. Uh, I think I think Tim's a little upset he wasn't on the PR. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, I mean, he uh, You're saying he did well. <laughs> well, well, he showed up. He beat Tony, and right now he's up on Kikoho. Well, that doesn't mean he's upset, right? Well, no, it's just a, just a joke. Oh. Yeah. Well, the he point didn't is he's showing up and so... proving it wrong. Well, no, I know. <laughs> uh, if he comes, and it looks like he's come the last couple of weeks, right? So he came. Uh, he came, he came I last think, week. Last week and yeah. this week. Yeah. So if we're sh it's shaping up to be. Tim coming back, but possibly getting PR'd. I mean, it's Pac one. So many Mars good there. already. Yeah. Who's in losers besides me? I could look too. Is uh is Clay still in? If Clay's in, thank you for the thumbs up, Pat. Pat said thumbs up, so I think that means Clay is still in. We wa. Um. Spades got fifth. 
Oh, the other side of losers is was slow. Yeah, it's just it's just it's uh, just Wewa. Yeah, it's just Wewa. So it's just three Marths. Yo, we won't be we won't be Slocks? No. <laughs> no, Slocks DQ'd. Sounds like a dub to me. Sounds thing. like a dub. Yeah. <laughs> Intimidation. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just I'll just DQ right before I lose every set. <laughs> and then That's not making fun of Slocks, it's just a, no, 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 a funny haha -ha joke about never losing. Uh, we want beat Slocks, that's not yeah. true, AJ. Nope. I don't know, if you look at the- I don't know, man, if you look at the bracket, that's what it shows right no, now. No, it says the word DQ there. <laughs> yeah, but it shows Slocks did not advance and we want did advance. Well, if you're interpreting it as a win, then you're just simply incorrect. <laughs> um... Bracket sure looks like we want advanced, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. So that's what I'm talking Two about. one, you guys must... Hog CT, the entity of what Hog, the... agrees with me. What the... What was Tim doing there? Also, Tim is up 2-0. Tim? Tim is, uh... Tim, you're really gonna make me have to beat Kikoho in Losers? <laughs> to get to you? Tim is, like, he's playing really well. I don't... Wow. I haven't seen Tim play before, I don't think. Uh, other than last week, so I don't really have a good metric yeah, to know he, how good he is or I how mean, well he plays. He definitely, you know, has... He was ranked solidly. He ranked above me last uh, PR in 2019. Okay. So, and I mean, I feel like I've made large strides since then, but yeah, still, like it's no, he's still a very good player. He's still yes. quite good, and I'm sure that he's played a bunch since then too. Maybe not in inter tournaments, tournaments, but you know, here and there, or maybe he hasn't. I don't know. I haven't talked to him about it. Maybe I'll talk to him about it today. I don't know. What the? Sh what? Oh, Dude. you want to come back? That was so sick. Yeah, it's just. I think Kikaho just prematurely rolled. Like, oh yeah, for sure. He rolled in a situation where he really could have uh, refreshed during. So like, Marth kind of like gives you opportunities to refresh when he side bees. Um, so given, yeah, right there. So that was really intelligent of uh, Tim the guy to fall without side being again there, because if he side bees um, another time in that position on the right, uh, he gives Kikaho an opportunity to refresh ledge, and that makes it way harder for Marth to make it back. Um, um, so it's it's interesting. Marth Marth recovery is so complicated to edge guard. Um, because of that, because he kind of like gives you windows, but he doesn't yeah. necessarily have to give you those windows. So it's just usually you want to give those windows because you're kind of like pushing your ability to stall your recovery against your like your opponent's um, like against giving your opponent an opportunity to refresh ledge to make it yeah. a little harder. Um, and if you do side me too many times, eventually you get checkmated. And that's where you see really players like IBDW really like edge guard Marth consistently. Um, mm -hmm. And if you're a character that has a hard time refreshing invincibility, like uh, maybe Samus or something, then <laughs> you really like. Uh, How does Peach you don't get do? To do stuff like that? Peach is okay because if she has her flow, that's the thing. Okay. If she has her flow, then she can refresh invincibility really quickly by like dropping Just, off, like, double jump, and float, and then, okay. and then you still have invincibility during that double jump. Um, and then you kind of float, and then you drop float as soon as you your invincibility runs out, and then you will regrab ledge. Um, and do it's not lose, it's not invincible, uh, but do you regain float when you grab no. ledge? No. Nope. You only regain float once you touch the ground. So usually, if I have the opportunity to, if the Marth gives me enough uh, of a window to to refresh, I will refresh with a hack stash, so that oh. I can maintain float, so that I can refresh very quickly a second time. Mm -hmm. um, so the hack stash you know, being the uh, going on stage and then yeah. wave landing, touching the ground, and then falling to the ledge again. Giko not wanting to get uh, reoed right now. Yeah, I mean that was. Pretty, uh, I was, I was, pretty uh, different from the first game, two games. Dominating. Oh, what dash? Yeah. Ha oh, uh, redacted a re a dash. redacted dash. Oh, yeah. no, it was a Nikki dash. That's a Nikki what people dash. called it. Nikki. He's a German Fox player that uh, coined it. He did what, it first. Nikki dash or hack stash? Nikki dash. Oh. Yeah, it's... Did he I don't know what you mean, hack stash. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I don't know what I mean, hack stash. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's that. H -A -E -K -S. I don't think it's... Yeah. <laughs> You're hacking when yeah. you do it. I don't think it's so bad that we have to change the name of the tech. No. Um, but it's funny. 
to like joke about it being the Nikki Dash and it always being having been the Nikki Dash. Like we're at war with Eurasia, we've always been at war with Eurasia. That's a 1984 reference, maybe you don't know that. Oh, yeah, did, you just yeah. look confused, so you don't need to know 1984, don't worry. Dystopian novel by George Orwell. Mm -hmm. I've heard of it, I've heard of it. Yeah. It, uh, they basically use a bunch of propaganda and say like, we've always been at war with this country, when like last week they clearly were not, they were at war with a different yeah. country. And it's all politics and nonsense. Man, fuck politics. I love Nikki, man. AJ. What do you like about Nikki? Is Nikki spelled N I C K I Y? No, it, it's N I K N I C K I. Oh, from for whatever reason, I, from I heard Nikki and I thought it was N I K K I, and I don't know why I thought that. Oh, this game is much closer. Yeah. Uh oh, that's a weird edge guard on Marth. I don't know <laughs> why I do that. Um, in my opinion, kind of like. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yes. I like that uh, that side B. Oh wow! Ooh. I like that side B to like make sure that he recovers on stage because if he just stayed falling, he would not have landed. Um, I think the fact that it's really hard to sweet spot around um, Marth's like smash attacks and like tilts yeah. at the ledge as Marth is like it's really not easy. Different. <laughs> it's really different from how Peach gets to play this matchup. As somebody who plays Marth, that shit is hard. Oh my god, he waited for an option. Okay. Ten. All right. You're gaining a little composure there. I mean, that one was at least much closer. Keep that up, and you get to win this nice game. We'll what if they're going to go back? Yeah. They are. FD again. Tim. Not one to second-guess himself. Oh. He has his plan. He sticks to it. Gets the job done. Or not. But he doesn't question it. I feel like in tournament is the time where you don't question it though. Like you, you, you have a plan and like yep. you are, are, you know, there's pressure on you, so you're not able to like formulate like a better plan necessarily in the moment. The so moment the time you, to formulate it is later on. Yeah, the moment you second guess your plan is like, yeah, chances you, are you're not gonna. Yeah, now you're, what, you're doing random things. Going forward, better. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um. Trust it. Trust yep. trust your past self to have learned from your experiences well enough to make informed decisions, you know? Because if you, like, second-guess your ability to play, then you don't get to do the things that you're good at oh. anymore. Believe in the way that you want to play. There's so many ways to play Melee, you know? Like... Believe in the you that people, believes in you. People might, like trash talk like certain players for like being mindless or something or like they're just spamming tech skill at me or something like that but like that's a way to win and if you can't beat it then that's something they can take advantage of oh shoot yeah he misses jump or maybe he didn't mean to hit a i don't know Ooh, that, would, that was a hard timing yeah. um that's one way to edge guard marth is that you kind of like you get put a, a hitbox out yeah. yeah get a read Where on the timing which up being, yeah um, a lot of characters can do that, kind of like mm -hmm. Fox can do that. Um, Fox kind of like that. pull hop and then like kind of come down right when the up B hitbox goes away. Or uh, you like a down hard. mash right at the ledge. Ooh, this is rough. When he came back. Ooh, gets put in shield immediately. Oh, like That's rough. That's rough. So I think he's getting his forward air from ledge snick uh, s sniffed out. I was like, snicked out? I feel like that's not a nice... I'm, I'm worried to say that word, because I don't know what it means. <laughs> if it means anything. If it means something, I promise I don't... Bar. Okay, Snickers, right. Yeah. Okay, surely Snick wouldn't be a slur if Snickers was a... They wouldn't do that. Right? No. They would not have a slur in the middle of their candy bar. Okay, good. I don't know, I'm just worried about saying random no, I, words. I, I, I got you, like I got you. Um, This game is looking... Um... This is looking like Kiko's yeah. game right now, I'm not yeah, gonna lie. Sure. Definitely looking a little harder. Yeah. Completely Ooh, especially after from that. the I don't first think he can come games. back. Oh, he, he can. got his jump. That's oh. okay. What? He must be having an issue with his recovery. Yeah. Um, yeah. On his controller, he looked down that time. And he looked down a previous time as well, so. I missed him looking down the first time, but I did see that time. Yeah. That time, but like, Why are he we like so... went down, he was like, what? Are we like, really like, not colorful? Pastel, yeah. 
Uh, is that like Weird. a grayscale? Not a grayscale. I don't know. Grayscale. I had to change it because Joe is so pale. Oh. Uh, you were also <laughs> you were also called the stream, Marty. Oh, okay. Yeah, get up there. Ooh. All right. What's up? Oops, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I hate Weewa. <laughs> Are you delaying stream banned? No, he's just getting his water. Can we have our color black? <laughs> if possible. Yeah, why are we a little sad? What's up, AJ? Yeah, we're like not. We're uh, no color. Raiders talk. Yeah, say that. What team has the best wide receiver right now, Ricky? Let me know. Just let me know. Best wide receiver in the NFL. Let me know what team has him. And then uh, keep talking. Top five running back. Let me know. Let me know. Top three tight end. Let me know. Let me know. Please let me know. Josh McDaniels. <laughs> You don't want to know anything about Derek Carr to Adams. It's, a, it's gonna be a wrap this season. I don't know shit about football. <laughs> the Raiders got the best wide receiver in the league. That's all you need to know. I know, uh, Chad Ojo. My family are, uh, is, uh, Meta Pats World fans. Peace. And then Brady left the Pats, and now they don't really follow football anymore. <laughs> Classic. Patriots aren't that bad. Yeah. But, you know. Better than the my Giants. My stepbrother you know? liked, uh, my stepbrother Be likes the Dolphins, though. Be oh, that's awful. Being a <laughs> Giants fan is cringe. Supporting any New York team, really. Unless it's the Mets. Yeah, then why I does just, they get then two I just teams? feel bad for you. Why, why does, why does New York get two teams in, like, both sports? Um... So... The Jets oh play in New Jersey. God. Right? One of the teams plays in New Jersey. Anyway. I don't know. That was, uh... Move out with the great down what air. What a down air, yeah. As we saw earlier today with Artie above Weewa on the bracket, Artie is 12-0 versus Weewa last <laughs> season. This season. No, oh, last season, you're right. I'm part. This is 2.1 Okami. I forgot, I forgot. First oh, season, ass. first game, or that, that, that. Crouch cancel first down smash on that four there. Season. Weewa yeah. looking to get a little more drift back on that, I'm pretty sure. Weewa does have one oh. win on Artie, but it was last season, so it didn't show on the thing. Uh, but he can absolutely do this. He's taken uh, Artie to uh, Game 5. What the, a the only problem is, Weewa is a Game 5 choker. He is. But he can do it. I know he can. He absolutely can. He's but done I'm it before. Be just trying to keep him up. Oh. Artie actually loves this stage. Already loves the stage. Well, I don't get it. He likes it because uh, you have to win uh, situations less to kill your opponent because it's such a small stage. Oh, he just stole that ledge. Uh, it's such a small stage, so you kill earlier, so you just in general have to win uh, in like in game less. But that makes it. That's the same for the opponent. It is the same for the opponent. Yeah. Why would you want that? Oh. He's trying to get this kill real fast. Yeah, there so it is. is. So is Marth, AJ. Hmm? He said, Peach is so good on Yoshi's. Peach is so, so good on Yoshi's, yeah. Marth. Marth is very good on Yoshi's. He got a big ass sword. Up air, up air. He <laughs> so uh, much base. You don't want that trade as a Marth. Wow, Force Crouch Cancel that. Like half the stage. Absolutely terrible <laughs> up air. Come on, Clay. <laughs> uh. The thing is, he I, he does that all the time. He's I've actually done. never seen that. Oh, uh, really? At least I've seen it. I haven't seen him do it. He does it against, at least against me, in tournament, in friendlies, no matter what. I don't know if we've uh, oh, I've good played him coverage. on Yoshi's. Oh, I've coverage. played him on uh, most of our sets happen on Stadium. Just because we both really like Stadium. And in the Zero, it doesn't really matter that much. 
Peach struggles to get openings, so when Yoshi sees your punishes, also kill it. Earlier makes it worth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As a Peach player and a Yoshi's lover, I don't see it. But you know, anything's better than F D. Just look at this Marth. Just Ooh, throwing out like aerials, throwing out fairs, throwing out down tilts, throwing out baits and wave dashes. Wave dash back, sorry. Look at those down tilts. Dash dance and air, yep. Quarter, quarter, come on. Yep. No, it goes for the side beat there, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh, good Ooh, spot. I like the that up there. You know, he, the last time he did that last game and it got crouch canceled down smash, so I guess. <laughs> well, I like it there. I, I don't I don't like getting crouch canceled down smash. Uh, but I'm wondering if that's because Artie didn't get hit by the fair. Oh, I see. Oh, good reverse speed. Well, he was, uh, he wasn't shield for the fair. Yeah. He shielded the fair and then... <laughs> Just pokes him away, adds 3%. I was looking for like side B grab or side B, uh, or side B up tilt or side B yeah. forward tilt something. <laughs> yeah, wow! Fair, I, guess. I would never have thought. He's just gonna do it again. <laughs> it's so hard as Peach to get back there. So hard. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then when you do, you gotta come up back onto stage against the Marthia. It's just. Martha's back here and. Shit's hard when Martha's back here. And down tilt. <laughs> down tilt's and also a pain. He's gonna get hit by that. Oh, I thought Artie was gonna nair for sure, but he gets the cross up grab. Oh, it's gonna Whoa. kill him. Oh, oh he, he missed Ledge. He, he snuck back to Again, school. down air? Oh my. Oh, I loved the idea, but Artie was ready for it. Ooh, oh, he's like that nair? I mean, he's waiting there for a reason. Yeah. Either Weebok goes down and already lives, or... Like, I mean, you just stand there. Peach kind of has the upbeat, obviously, or mm -hmm. else she will die, so... Yeah. I mean, just play that more patiently, I think. Nice. Up air into up air, and with that, the crowd... In-game crowd's cheering for him. Yeah, but... And IRL crowd, we got a lot of people watching this set. You can't get poked here by like a flow cancel there or No you can't. Artie will I'm surprised he did that F smash. That F smash was uh I don't know, I feel like Artie could have like done something. Maybe he was in like in the middle of a turn oh, to pull. I think we about tried to grab that right there. Oh dash attack. Oh missed that that fair would have been huge. Side B gets him off. Grab. Oh into Forward the re grab. Air. Pushes him off. F tilt, oh he runs off. Oh my I was just what talking about how Kikoho did that drop? exact oh, same side it. B. Wow, Got him with get him attack? attack. Him? Up tilt? Oh, he went for the. Oh, he was able to shield it and get out? This is a pretty. This is a big lead. Yeah, uh, Clay needs a stock, dude. Yeah, oh no, he does, but this is still. This is good. This is good for him. Down tilt? Yep. So good. Oh. I hate Marth. Up there again? Oh. Good pull to win. Up tilt? Oh, good. Air dodge out. And then crouch cancel down smash. Play side B because he wanted to do it again. Oh. Found the, uh. That uh, nair. needs an up tilt. Up, up tilt or an up air. Oh, that. Or that nair. Or no. not. Never mind. I lied. Up there here. Grab. Gets caught by the down smash. Oh, yes. Yeah, I didn't hear that, but thank you, Kiko. That's okay. He, did, he didn't. He didn't add anything to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you ready say? with the stitch? I'm pretty sure. No. No, oh, no, it's not. Bad. He can bring it back. But will he? Do you want the micro? Do you want a microphone? A microphone? We have a third one, I think. Do you want one? Oh, 
Oh, Pat, do we have a third down there? Oh, it pushes him away with four damage. Yeah. Alright. Uh oh. Puts him down in attack. Oh no. Caught him with that. Oh, get up attack. I, I really oh, don't think Clay he... wanted that. Just trying to push him away here. Already gets back. Good spot dodge. Nice there it is. smash. Wait till the down. Uh, spot dodge. Oh my! That's actually so. That's so God. sad. That is so sad. Man, I looked away because Kikaho was doing a thing, and uh, I look back to Artie on the ledge and Kiko or Kikaho. We will fall into his death. You got to say goodbye to Venom. Venom's heading out for the night. Wow, I cannot believe Clay got hit by that. I missed what he got hit by. A forward air. Uh, I mean, one of, it was, it was like a good forward air, but it was obvious, in my opinion. I mean, sometimes you just get hit. Yeah, and obviously I'm not as good as either of these players, so <laughs> that's what they're thinking. Me, 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 me neither. <laughs> well, Artie was just letting him do it, and then yeah. Clay was well, like, it's, "Yoink!" I, I don't blame him. It's hard to it's hard oh, to contest Marth when he's doing that. He can't do that. anything, dude. He's got a big ass sword. You get too close, he just hits you. It's pretty much like just Fox and Falco that can mess with him there. Yeah, it's actually or like Game of Watch down tilt. Oh my God, those turnips! Oh wow, great jump on Clay. Good um, drift to it. Did not get hit by that man. Dead. 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 Because he's going to want to grab or a, a forward ear here. Peach makes a lot of noises when she moves around. Yeah, she she does. She's loud. Dash attack again. Wow. Back here. Let me just roll up here. Uh, oh my. Mm. That was swift. Oh, good power shield there. Wow. Oh no, he held down. And already just hit him again. He did. And he pushed him out too. Yeah. That was good. I mean, every side B that Clay's going for is getting uh, air dodged right out of immediately. Yeah. Oh my. That looks like it hit really hard. Oh wow. I can't believe he made that again. to ledge, yeah. I probably would have just like air dodged up. He's got magnet hands for oh my oh, what a run off That was nasty. This might be the break that Clay needed. Dude, that was nasty. Nah, Clay's losing on uh, the next map, but He sure as hell has the momentum right now. Yeah. After that. Oh, uh, Forward air grab? He wanted it again, oh, but I don't think he's gonna That's just gonna be. That's a down air, the nair? Wow. That killed? I thought nair almost, sure. It almost didn't. Oh, that's a stitch, dog. Oh. oh, it's gone. It's gone! F smash? Where'd it go? F oh, no. Just F smash him! You have a big sword! Oh, missed it. Dude, if it already got the, the Marth killer out there, it was, it was yeah. over. Clay's gotta take a breath. Can't be getting antsy right now. Down tilts. Oh. Oh, good down air. It's gonna go for a grab here and throw him off. Oh. Oh, already missed it. He didn't even go for the up tilt. He knew. Oh, forward air. Oh, what is that? I, I don't know. Oh wow, that was that nasty smash spacing. The turnip. Dead. Oh, this another one? Is that game? No, grab it's not. Ledge. Nope. Just stay on. Oh my, never mind. He's better. He's better. Who's just F smash him? Nah, because already you can totally just react to that. Down tilt. Dash attack him back on stage. No. He wants that kill so bad. 
Oh, he's oh dead. no! He's dead. Wrap up. Is this it? That's it. That's oh, the second get time. Up attacked. Oh, he's actually he's alive here. No, he. Oh, he needed the. Is this attack. it? Oh, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, it's actually awful. Oh. As a fan of melee, that was awful to watch. Yeah. He had it. He had it over on the left side. But good job, Artie. <laughs> yeah, congrats to Artie. I just really hurt myself with this rubber band. What did you do? I flicked it at myself like that and it hurt. Oh. Alright, I just wanted to shit on Clay, but, you know, he actually did really well despite losing 3-0. Yeah. That's what we call a close 3-0 in the business, so... That is that is what we call that. Uh, and I certainly do not want to watch another one. Peach <laughs> I, Mark. I am going to hop off as well, so I will see you later, Nobody chat. asked you, Okami. GGs. Well, you know what, Jason? All right, I'm back to commentate on yet another floaty set. You can tell I'm excited, can't you? Uh, so, Losers Finals, Artie versus Tim the Guy. Now, surprisingly, earlier in bracket, Tim was able to take out Slox, who had beaten Rishi yesterday. Rishi is another Marth player. And, I don't know, if you asked me, I'd say that Rishi would probably be more of a threat than Tim, but... Just couldn't do it. So Tim taking Tony out, making it all the way to losers finals to play against Artie. Now, Artie had a pretty good showing against Weewa, from what I could tell. It was like a 3-0, I think. Uh, so he's definitely ready for Marth. And if he's not, then I feel sorry, because even if he beats Tim, he's got to play against Kikoho, which is another Marth. Uh, I, I'm not envious of Artie, that's for sure. To have to play three Marths if he wants to win the bracket. And not only that, but then he has to reset the bracket. So it's four sets versus Marth in a row. That were me. I would just, I don't know, DQ myself or something. I'd be like, I'm not dealing with this. You guys can, you guys can move on. Although Artie's no stranger to this matchup, he has to play it pretty much every week, so. Anyway, not too far behind. I mean, it's only 60%. Not quite within Marth Rightus range just yet. But starting to get there. Now here's that Marth Redis range I was talking about. Where most attacks, if they don't kill, like that one did, you're pretty much at a point where you can't follow up off of anything. So you don't have any more situations where 
you can go in with an, an easier option in neutral and then go into a confirm from there, you literally just have to get like the raw kill. Which can be a little bit more difficult. Wow, that was a lot of percent off of those funnels. Already just stomping the shit out of Tim the guy. Good edge guard. And here we have ourselves a last stock situation. These next few seconds could very well have a large impact on the rest of the set. Now, if there's one thing I've noticed about Artie, he's developed this somewhat unique edge guard that I don't really see any other Peaches do. I mean, I don't really watch that many Peaches, but because you floaties. But anyway, um, oh, that was close. But so the unique edge guard I was mentioning, you just saw it there, didn't end up being utilized, but he he threw it out anyways to cover stuff. He throws the turnip upwards and then grabs ledge. So that turnip covers the on-stage recovery if they recover high and put them in a position to where Artie can easier punish it. And holding the ledge obviously um, covers the ledge option. So I can imagine somewhat difficult to uh, get past that. If threading the needle was used, that'd probably be the most accurate way to describe it. AJ, if this matchup is hard, you should be writing stuff down. You have so much content right now. You have the previous set, you have this one, and if Artie wins, you have the next one. And then if Artie wins that set, you have the, <laughs> the next one after it, all Marth Peach. So a, uh, a Peach player like yourself should definitely be writing stuff down right now. Sadly, any sort of set that I could learn from is already passed within this bracket, so not much more for me to do. Other than talk shit about floaties. You forgot where you put your pen and paper? Just, just type. Just, just write your note. Here, I got one for you, AJ. Write your notes in chat and just come watch this set whenever you need to remember. So, yet again, Peach within Marth Rightus range. Tim gonna have to go for that, uh, those raw kills in neutral. Up throw gonna do it. I mean, I wouldn't be, I, I would honestly be surprised if it didn't, you know, being at 200 fucking percent. So I'm, I'm sorry, I can't imagine what is FC. I feel like I should know this, but at the same time, I feel like that isn't a term I recognize. Flo oh, float cancel. Never mind. I'm stupid. I had, had to think about that for a second. It had to, had to process, you know. Smash finishing off that stock. Bringing this back into even territory.
Now, the one annoying thing about both of these characters is you have to be really careful about where you space yourself in neutral. Because both of them have, like, those dash attacks where you go f flying forward. Well, not flying forward, but, like, you just, like, rush forward with a hitbox. I mean, of course, it's easily punishable because it has a lot of lag, but you get caught out. That's, like, the beginning to, like, a pretty hefty string. And this should be it. Nope. Already rolling too early. Unfortunate. That down smash, that hurts to hear. Like the noise that like heavy hits make in this game, like I'm glad that my headset isn't that loud. But I can imagine like people's brains rattling when, uh, when that noise is made. And here's the footsies. Already is suffering, aren't we all? I can imagine playing in this uh, matchup is stressful, but us, the spectators, being subjected to this is inhumane. This, this probably violates at least two or three articles of the Geneva Convention. That'll do it. Tim the guy taking game two, evening things up. <laughs> friendly reminder to hydrate yourselves. You know what? No, not a friendly reminder. You fucking gamers out there, take a swig of that water. Yeah, I know your lips are dry. Don't try and now. Don't try and fucking lick your lips now. Too late. Just fucking hydrate yourself. Your lips won't be dry as fuck. Remember to stay hydrated out there. Luckily for Artie, he sunk below the ledge and was out of the range from Marth's forward smash. Got a pretty good punish off of it too, if you ask me, taking the stock like that. Ooh. Artie physically recoiling in anger, missing the ledge there. Oh, that pea! Uh, not <laughs> the turnip. Peach does not throw peaches. That turnip, just getting in the way of that down smash. That probably would have been a really good edge guarding opportunity had already just not discarded that turnip. That's what he gets for littering. Peach needs to stop throwing her turnips all around the fucking stage. You can't just put them wherever you want because you're a princess. I think you're better than us. Thrown away just like another turnip. What a waste. Yeah. Uh, the crowd chanting in time with the uh, side bees. 
You know, I can't believe Tim the guy. You're gonna sit there and camp like that. Go down there and attack Peach. Come on, man. Fucking Mirth players. <laughs> Already finally losing his stock after making it back. Well timed counter. Honestly, Tim the guy has built up quite the momentum here. I don't see him losing this game. Oh! I spoke too soon. Corp. I did say Tim was gonna win, but I reacted as if Artie would make, was gonna make that back. He could have if he had gone for the the bombs, the side B stalls on the uh, bottom of the stage. He probably could have made that back. Didn't really seem like Tim knew how to deal with it. Not that there's really much you can do. You kind of just have to wait it out. But Looks like they're going back to FOD. Already looking to bomb stall some more. Grab the ledge. Grab the ledge, Tim. Tim, grab the ledge. What are you doing? Come on. Melee has gotten too soft. Nobody wants to just hold the ledge anymore. Like, see there, Artie had already grabbed the ledge. That would have been the stock. Don't call me a melee Republican. I know I'm joking and sounding like an asshole, but <laughs> calling me a Rep <laughs> calling me a Republican is just a, an insult to assholes. <laughs> Ooh, that shield was getting really small there. It was looking like a green M&M. much Tim could have done there other than not get hit by it. <laughs> that turnip! Interrupting Tim! Saving Artie from the clutches of Tim the guy. Now it's back to even. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. Marth versus Marth or Peach versus Marth. I don't think there's a there's a good option here. So even if Tim wins this game, we're going to be subjected to more Marth regardless. But I mean, I guess Artie winning would be good because that's, you know, less Marth on the screen. Who knows? I could definitely see Artie taking this game. Starting to get in that Marthritis range. <laughs> Tim, you're sick. You know, Tim is changing my mind about Marth. Maybe Marth isn't so bad. Tim, Tim makes Marth look pretty good, if you ask me. You know who's a cool Marth? Kikoho. And you know who's getting on stream? Also Kikoho. Just sucks that it's Marth versus Marth. 
It's a shame, really. I see you staring at me. Alright. Huh? Did you change? I, I I knew. I was like, I look pale again. Did he change the exposure back? <laughs> That's alright. I'm, I'm pale as the fucking moon, as you can see. The, the one in the sky, of course. Um... Once again, the uh, melee, CT Melee Power Rankings for Season 1 have been released. You can see it on your screen. Pretty diverse. You know, you got, you got two Ice Climbers, a Ganon, a Peach, a Link, and then Spees playing literally every character in the fucking past. Like, god damn. That's, uh... Honestly, I was gonna make up a joke about it. That's honestly, like, crazy. Like, that just that just goes to show how talented he is. He can do well with so many different characters. Alright. So, Kiko versus Tim the Guy. Pretty sure Kiko is the one that sent Tim the Guy into Losers. So, let's hope uh, we can get a another showing of that so this bracket can be over. So we don't have to watch any more Marth versus Marth. Although it would be sick to see Tim win this. Not gonna lie. Is it just me or does Tim like have Marth's haircut? Like his if his hair was just a little bit longer, like he's got Marth's haircut. Grow your hair out, Tim. That'd be sick, a Marth player that looked like Marth. Ooh, okay, that edge cancel to up B was pretty nice. Pikaho able to even things up. Ooh, this might be the stock. Oh. Tim the guy with the awareness to stall his recovery there with a side B. Able to make it back. Oh no. Gotta say, watching Tim play, like, he's really patient. He's willing to just sit there and dash dance until you make your move. It's pretty commendable. I don't have the patience for that shit. But it's definitely the way you need to play the game if you want to win. Now, unfortunately, that crouch cancel on that forward smash ended up getting Tim killed. Had he not been crouch canceling, he wouldn't have slid off and went down like that. But, regardless, uh, they're back to even. Oh my god, is Kikoho? Kiko took another stock. Wow, he took that without even taking any hits. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't pivot F smash or something there. He's probably expecting him to answer back with some sort of move and didn't want to get hit. Well, that should be it. Kikoho taking game one in, in a pretty dominant fashion, you know. I'd say two stocks is nothing to scoff at, especially between these two. And according to transitive property, if uh, anyone remembers that from high school math, uh, so let's look at it this way. Yesterday, Slox beat Rishi, and Rishi's a Marth player. Today, him the guy beat Slox, and Tim's the Marth player. And Kikoho is now beating Tim the guy, who is another Marth player. Therefore, it can be argued that Kikoho should be top 100. What is Kikoho's Rishi number? His what? I don't get that. God, you're a zoomer. What's a... I don't... Oh, wait, explain. What's a Rishi number? 
Is that like a math thing? Whatever. Anyways. Bad joke over. Back to the game. Tim hitting Kiko Ho with his sword a couple times. <laughs> as, as Marth does. He doesn't really have any other moves. Two. I'm assuming that's Kiko Ho's Rishi number. Not sure I understand the uh, idea that's being expressed, though, by something being a Rishi number, let alone two being said number. It's crazy. A couple weeks ago, I was being called, like, I was being told people thought I was, like, 27 or 28. And I was getting mad because, like, I'm not that fucking old. But now that I'm being called a Zoomer, which is, like, considerably younger, I'm getting pissed. It's <laughs> like, I'm not that young. <laughs> Rather be... Like, start... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Ooh, was facing the wrong direction for that down tilt. Worked out in the end. Ooh, okay. Both players pretty much even. Not the same exact percent, but they're both mid percent. It's pretty much the same thing. Oh, I think that took his jump. Oh, now he has no jump. Apparently he hadn't lost it. I gotta say, Kikoho and Tim have really crisp movement. That might do it. Yep. Kikoho taking game two. Going to Pokemon Stadium. I gotta say, it's kind of funny watching the Marths slide back and forth as they down tilt each other and they're crouch canceling them. Nice tech! But unfortunately, Tim made a mistake recovering. And now he's down two stocks within the span of 30 seconds. Let's see if Kikuho can expand this lead or if Tim can close the gap. Both players swinging their swords, not really hitting each other. Oh, that should. Oh no, he had his jump! Tim's at a really high percent here. Kiko's got a lot of mileage off of this stock. Ooh, he had his jump that whole time, too. Okay. Tim able to make some progress towards finishing Kiko Hall off this game, but not looking too good for him. He's down two stocks. Could be potentially his last stock of the tournament. We'll have to see. Oh, we made it back. Kikoho, you're sick. I know I, I've already said this plenty of times that I hate Marth, but Kikoho, you're, you're convincing me otherwise. Marth can be kind of cool sometimes. And then he goes ahead and swings his sword at uh, 200 times per second. And I'm, again, a Marth hater. Oh, that's it. Tim just completely unfolding and falling apart in that last game, allowing Kikoho to take game three, winning the entire bracket. Oh god, I gotta do a winner's interview, huh? Yay me! <laughs>
Hey, Fact Anthony, get over here. Is there an Omega as elf in the venue? Kiko Ho, get over here. No, come here with your money out so I can take it. So I can take your money. <laughs> Oh, cruise, I forgot. I'm glad I stayed. I kind of want to play. I got work in the morning, but fuck it. Let's do this winner's interview. Yep. With me. My controller is somewhere. So I got to say, um, you're starting to convince me that Marth is actually like pretty fun to watch. You're like, I normally don't like floaties, but I would say yours and Tim's Marth are the two Marths that I actually enjoy watching. You know, I appreciate that. I try to make my character fun. I especially like the last game where like you kind of just like dumpstered him. He was like three, like that. It was pretty close until that game, and he kind of just destroyed him. Uh, yeah, I think but I with it, of, sorry, I, go ahead. Sorry, no, you, you, I, you should finish. I'm, I cut you off. What I was gonna say is to get to the interview because I haven't asked any questions yet. Um, what were you feeling in that last game once you had that three stock lead? Like, one, what was going through your head in that moment? I got this. I got this. No, <laughs> no doubt at all. You weren't even worried about a comeback. Pretty much, but like if it if he took like another stack, I was gonna be like, oh fuck. <laughs> well, that's good. It's nice to see you were confident about that. Yeah, I mean, I I tried, I try. I'm trying to not be tilt, man. Yes. You uh played him in winners. Did the yes. outcome of that set have any sort of um bearing on your confidence in the second one? I don't know. Maybe I was just I was more ready, I guess, uh for what he's gonna throw at me, especially because like. Like, oh, I have to, like, reverse three ohms. Like, if I can do it in mean, reverse three ohm, I can probably just cut out the part where I lose two games. <laughs> That's cool. I, um, I right, had now. Bye, gamer. It was definitely fun to watch. Um, I was mentioning it before. I already didn't end up winning. But if he wanted to make it to you to win the bracket, he, he beat Clay. He would have had to beat Tim. And then he would have had to beat you two sets for a total of four sets against Marth. Yeah, he would have had to play a lot of Marth. <laughs> so it's it's obvious that like Artie has a lot of Marth experience. Yeah. When it comes to playing against him, does that ever come to mind? Like, do you get worried? Like, oh shit! Like, I have to be more careful. He plays against Marth a lot, or I think he plays against me a lot, and I think he's like really, really good against Marth, or at least really good against my Marth. I don't know if us playing. Like, twice every week in bracket has influenced how he plays against other Marths. I think it probably has, which is why I'm like... Like, if I were to say, like, who I'm more afraid to play, it's like Tim or Artie, I'd say Artie 100%. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of the time I see, like, Artie will, like, lose to, like, something Marths or, like, Mass Madness or something. It's like, I know you're better than this guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, I think I might have, like, messed up his um, matchup knowledge. Well, not even that. I just think he's, like, acclimated to my stupid heckin' Marth. But in return, he's, like, really hard <laughs> to beat. <laughs> he's really good. I, I think if he wasn't trying to, like, run a local and make a website, I think he'd be easy top 100. Oh, I have to... Okay, well, oh. good games. Well, good job today. Bruce, thank you. I said good games. We did play. <laughs> so it works. You know, we did play. I'm still uploading that clip to Twitter, even though I got dumpstered every game. <laughs> I'm going to act like I won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the person running the stream dipped out. Uh, so, as you can see, there's nobody next to me, so this is not Kiko Ho. Um, yeah, we're going to be getting crews set up. It's going to be between out of suit. It, it doesn't look like Tim's one of the captains, so I'm going to guess that it's um, Artie and Kiko Ho out of the captains. But, yeah, night's not over just yet. We got that coming up. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask Kiko about the uh, PR, too. Damn, he had to go. I was going to ask that question last, but whatever. Um, yeah. No, I'm not going to subject you guys. No, I'm, I'm going to play in cruise. It's kind of funny because I actually have to wake up for work in nine, no, eight hours. So between cruise and driving home, I'm definitely going to hate myself uh, when I wake up tomorrow. But if I want to get better at the game, I'm going to have to play it, right? So. 
Anyway, I'm not going to subject you guys to my ugly face anymore. Luckily, the exposure's not up, so I'm not blinding you with uh, reflecting the, the lights off of my skin. But it was fun commentating. You'll see me on uh, stream whenever I have to play in cruise or whatever. It was fun. What's up? Oh, I was about to go change it. Do you want to? Okay. I got to go change it so it doesn't say Kikoho, though. Over here, watch out. Oh, what up, Val? Ignore, ignore, um, ignore, well, now you don't ignore it. That's me. Right there, that's me. That's, uh, that's him. I gotta say, you look that's so intense me. right now, the way you were pointing at the screen. <laughs> I did. Well, I didn't, I didn't, he's still alive, I can see him. No, Toucan's dead. He's, he's bleeding out on the floor right now, actually. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Toucan. Like, how did you do that? Your character doesn't even have any sharp, like, objects. Like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I just up air to and down smashed a lot. <laughs> he's, I, I know, I know what you meant. Yes. <laughs> I actually, I was FD. I almost won. I SD'd three times. <laughs> and like, you still so, beat? I, I lost on FD. Oh, I, okay. I SD'd three times. And he, he, like, made percent two stock. And I was like, I could have won that if I didn't suck. But it went game five. It was it was tough because his controller was fucking up. So it feels, like, a little bit fraudulent. But also, like, I definitely did read him wave dash down smashing me. I read it. So I won that interaction by myself. And that feels good. Don't John for your opponent. You got that victory. It's like, uh... I th characters like Ice Climbers... And Luigi and Falcon too. Funny, Falcon funny. Um, they have this thing where if you waste any amount of movement without a purpose, they thrive off of it. Like if you do a wave land that doesn't have a reason, if you like do a dash dance that's like pointless, if you wave dash and you're not doing something, like they will take that wasted space and wave dash down smash you. They'll overshoot knee you in the face. Maybe as Pikachu. <laughs> That happens for Spacey's too, dude. No, I, Captain Falcon, you literally just like bait him, and then like you up tilt, like no, up, no, no, up no, tilt no, no, and like no. back air destroys Falcon. No, so, you want to waste that space to give him that false confidence and then punish his movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, but there's um, like the the Spacey's talk about this a lot. Like the Fox Man's, there's the there's the four, no, there's the uh, there's the three zones against Falcon. Right next to him, he can knee you in the face, right? A little bit further away, he can't knee you in place, and overshoot knee goes too far. And then past that, he can knee you in the face again. He can overshoot knee you in the face. Yeah, but that's all. Um, yeah. So if you, so like if you Telegraphed. waste. Yeah. So if you, but if you waste frames next to him, like you spot dodge next to him, he knees you in the face. Well, that's you, spot dodge though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying like waste that, like wave dash next to him, he knees you in the face. Well, right? no, you can shield out of wave dash. But like, like Wave Dash isn't really that committal of an option. I'm I'm saying I'm saying like it won't always happen. But there's no reason to wave dash next to his face, and there's no reason to be wave dashing when you're just in his overshoot range. You're giving him a chance to make a read that you can just do a randy like knee, because you can't react to the knee. He can't react to the wave dash. But if you're wave dashing instead of doing something else, he gets the chance to knee you in the face, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, with, is... with Captain Falcon, especially, like, it's very much, regardless of where you're on the stage, he can punish whatever option you pick. Same thing with Fox. They both can yeah. have that property they, where they just move fast enough. They still can meet you in the face, but, like, you're giving them a chance every time. Oh, we're on Kiko's team with a Jedi? Come on. Who... All right, give, all right. Uh... Wait, why do we have to go over there if it hasn't been picked yet? Oh, who goes in first? Oh, okay. Who's on our team? We got well, we're going to be starting cruise here in a second, folks, so stay tuned for that.
Who are they sending in? Who are you sending in? We're sending. You you picked, right? So we're sending in Kiko. Oh, we're sending in Chris. Oh, okay. So this so, will be interesting. Are you trying to snowball us? No, so we have Tim as well. Yeah, I know. It's so scary. literally we are sending Kiko like we could just send honestly send in Kiko and Tim, and that would just be the crew battle, but that might be. <laughs> See we still have Artie. Yeah, but we have we have we have Artie Kiko and, and him the guy. And also, Viva. uh Artie, Tim the guy, only the first T is capitalized. Only the first T and Tim the guy is capitalized. So it's gonna, you're gonna have, oh no, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Tim. It's the, definitely the first T is capitalized, but on the stream scoreboard software, sometimes you have to put the space before it, but it's just the text box for this. So they're saying you go, oh, I don't know how to send in now. I'll say, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might send out Artie. I feel like Artie's got the composure. I don't know, all I'm saying is, the first time we did crew battles and I was a captain, people made fun of me for, like, the team that I made. But, like, I, this, this is just, like, lopsided. If there's two Marths, it's fucked up. If there's two Marths, it's We have it's three Marths. We have three Marths on this team. <laughs> huh? What's not working? You have to hit enter. After each player, you have to hit enter. You can move it and make it wider if you want, because hex wrapping will make it harder to see that. So hopefully they haven't started. 
No, they haven't. Kiko just stood up. Okay. That doesn't mean he didn't start. <laughs> That's true. He could be... Could be, uh... Yeah. Gearing on the crowd or something. Are you not entertained? Aww. Alright, so it sounds like Kiko took game one. <laughs> Boo! Let's go, Mars! That's, that's not my team. Let's not go, Mars. So up first, we have Kokomo versus Dexterious Chris. I think, that, I think that's uh, Dex Aeros Christ. Dex Aeros Christ. Maybe. Could be like, uh, you know how you have silent letters? You could also have, like, invisible letters, so there could be, like, an invisible T at the end there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's, that's, uh, Kick Oho! Kick Oho. Yeah, like, he's half Santa. Like, like the messenger? Half, it's Santa on the messenger app. <laughs> Alright. You know, Mrs. Claus isn't always enough. In all honesty, though, like, what does Kick Oho mean? Do you know? It's like the move from Dragon Ball Z, dude. Yeah. I don't watch Dragon Ball. What is Kikoho? It's like it's like a move that uh Oh, that's the yeah, Japanese main for Tri-Beam Cannon? I no, I don't think so. Cause I, I know Kiko Show. Kiko Show is a thing from Street Fighter. Kikoho is definitely like a move from Dragon Ball Z though. <laughs> you looked at it the worst time. He just put his key face in the camera. Oh, it is Tri Beam. Yeah, so it's just the Japanese it's name for Tri Beam. Spirit Cultivation Gun, we're starting. This is going into it? Oh, yeah, they're the first players. Yeah, he just down tilted him. He just, he just fared him. Alright, so get ready for this, guys. Kiko has Chris? 98. No. Kiko has 98 minutes to time out this game and watch. We're going to be I here a while. I don't think he's going to do it. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, that's Oh. That's the type of stuff that happens to me. Man, yeah, am, I, you know. am I glad I'm on Kikoho's team? If I had to play him, nah, my, I would team, my team's this. winning. My team's winning. Are you sure about that? Yes. I have full faith in my team. Oh, oh god. Don't worry, Chris. I feel your pain. Chris is living. Chris is living. He's still living. That wasn't a tipper. Oh, reversal? Yeah! Let's go, Chris! Come on, Kiko! They got Chris! Oh, he got red. Oh! You had one job, Kiko! I got to talk with my team. Oh my god! That one doesn't even fit! He can hold place TF2! Oh, he's putting the hats back. At least keep the straw one on. It looks good on you. <laughs> Who already stalling the crew battle? <laughs> Okami, you gotta change his name. It still says Dexterous Chris. Now you gotta change the. Oh, you got it. Woo! That's one! Three more! Alright, so I know that it says spades on the screen, but I can assure you that spades is not next to me. Can we talk about 
how flexible Peach is? That's like, what, her up tilt, right? Or whatever, whichever tilt it is, fucking... That hurts my back just thinking about. Like, how far back you gotta bend to kick your leg up like that. Oh, we made it back to the <laughs> That F smash was not the option. All right. So I kind of want to go in after Kikoho so that I can go home and sleep. But I hope Kikoho at least takes out Artie before uh, I would have to go in because I don't. <laughs> I don't want to get destroyed by Artie before I leave for the night. Let's go! You got him sweating, Kiko! Ooh, that down smash. Sending Kiko across the stage. <laughs> Yet again, sending him in the same direction. Ooh, unfortunate for Kikoho. Come on, you can you can take at least another stock. I know I know you got it in you. We made it back. Ooh, I can. <laughs> that match was loud. I could hear that all the way from here. Makes it back. Okay, that's good. So who are we sending in? No, that's the wrong one. You gotta send them to the to the other players. There's another players camp. It says players hype or There you go, that's the one. Kirby! Get out of my character! Let's go, Tom! Spending in baby powder. Baby powder opting to stand. Never mind. Alright, so baby powder has to take one stock, I believe it was. I think. I think Artie only has one. Yep. That was a weak chant. Man, am I happy I'm on Tom's team. I wouldn't have to fight I wouldn't want to fight against him either. Perfect shielding that pound. You have a mother of stop finish him. Oh, 
That's okay! Hit me! No, not like that. Okay, there you go. Roll. Let's into him. No. Oh, no, Tom. Tom, what, what was the point of crouch canceling that if you weren't going to do anything with it? What's going on? No! Let's go, Tom. Now nah, I don't have to play against Artie. So who are they sending in next? Sending in Wave. Alright, I don't know who Wave plays. What is this noise? So, Wave versus Baby Powder. Now, if I'm going to be honest, I kind of see Tom taking all four of these stocks. I've played against him with my Falco. Uh, I'd, I'd say he's pretty good in that matchup. Ooh. Oh. That's all right. Let's oh, go. Banana. Oh, okay. Oh my god. That almost just killed him straight up. Oh, this might be it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no, no. It's alright, it's alright. Oh! Get this one. This will be huge. Yeah! Alright, one to one. This would be crazy if they got this. Tom is not sweeping. I'm sweeping. He took one of Artie's stock. Oh, good. And good hopefully here. he's going to be taking oh. four of waves. Come on, Tom. You've you've edge guarded against that against me before. Oh. Another high side B? Nope. Oh. Oh my god, that was so close. That could have been a death for Puff there. Yeah. Oh, oh rough. All right, all right. Tom. You've destroyed my Falco. Like this. Who else Why do can't we have? you miss these Edgards against me? Who else do we have here? What? <laughs> Alright, so they're sending in Weewa. Oh no. Uh oh. That means I'm gonna have to play against Weewa unless I throw somebody <laughs> else in. Oh, the hat fell, Okami. The hat fell right next to you. <laughs> we saved the hat. 
Yeah, don't trip on any wires. Just careful. Yep. What are they press? Oh, they're just doing the name tag. I was like, why is that noise like happening so often? <laughs> Sith keeps losing. What's up with that? That's messed up. The, the evil guy has got to win sometimes. The hatred is just not enough. No. Cool. A singular. Tom's gonna sweep this. We washed. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Plum. Not, not coops. It, it is, but a singular coop. Oh, what? what? Whoa. Whoa! Swinging the sword right in his face. <laughs> Get out of town. You got one stock. Hey, hey, stop grabbing. Hey. All right. Yo, what's the problem? You're just stalling. stalling. Huh? What time is it? Three, two, one, go! Oh. oh gosh, that was loud. Okay. Okay, don't get rested immediately. That would suck. You got rested. Okay, don't do it. Okay. We got it, man! Oh. No. Suicide dare. You can do it, Tom! Oh, no. I don't know if you can do it from there. I don't know. It's a... I've seen Tom come back from worse. Really? really? No. It seemed pretty bad. <laughs> I wish I, I could say bad. that I was being truthful there. Yeah. Who are we sending in? Wow, Kami with a quick strike through. <laughs> Let me thank him! Let me thank him? Oh, Farrell. Go going in. Oh my god, if they're sending in Tim, I don't know who we send in versus Tim. Send in spades? We gotta. Oh, we don't even know if Tim's gonna win this game. Oh, time the guy! <laughs> Tim the guy is all lowercase except for the first T, I think. It might mess with you. Um, but you could just put a space at the end. You got it? Okay. Okay. Switch this. Oh, I think they're playing. I think they're playing. Ah! Okay, thank you. Time the guy. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Alright. No, I'm gonna go get warmed up. Sorry. Wait, sorry, why to, is Tim... sorry to tease you like okay. this. Okay. Tim's playing green? What the heck? I've never seen Tim play green. Get over here, Kiko Ho. What are you doing? Get sit down on the couch. I'm sitting. Sit normally. Oh my god, you're it's falling. The crew battle energy. Crew battle energy? Well, I swear. huge deja vu. When oh I my you. god. That has happened to me. Before. You know what deja vu is? The feeling. That it's. Yeah. Well, not like the feeling. Is it like electrical what causes in it? Your brain that you've oh. Already experienced? Well, yeah. Like that? Well, no, not that you've already experienced. Specifically, it's like your eyes are slower than like other senses. Um, yeah. So, like, let's say you see something, your brain um, sometimes processes it slightly slower, uh, and then you kind of like accidentally send the signal twice, and then what happens is you you see it, and then you immediately see it again, and you're like, wait. I've seen this before, but you're, you you can't like pinpoint when because it just happened, and that's not like a logical conclusion. I swear, so, if I go back to that, like, there's a crew battle pinned in the Goons Discord. That's like, you were in it and I was in it. Did you see that? Yeah. No. He did the Amsa Tech, and then he was at a really high percent and whoa, was going to slide whoa, off. Whoa. No, seriously. That's the first time I've ever seen anyone do that on purpose. Um, it is hard. They did this Amsa Tech, and then they did the Spot Dodge to root themselves. Um, because they were a really high percent, and yeah. they got hit really hard, and... Did he slide off the ledge? No, well, he did slide off the ledge after that, but the spot dodge, like, during the spot dodge, you root yourself, and your momentum is, dr like, draining during that. So, I've never seen anyone do that on purpose. Really? It might have been an accident. I feel like that's not super uncommon. Oh! Oh, yeah, sorry. Put it, yeah, get it in there. Yeah, I feel like that's not super uncommon, I but it's like really, it is very people. good awareness. People usually just, like, uh... 
Oh. See, I get scared to do it against you because when I spot dodge, just hit me again. Well, I also just hit the tech. <laughs> I just just hit the tech before the spot dodge could happen. Oh my god, why was Damn. it shield? Forward smash him. Did that? Did that Rhymes. That sh that light shield looks so weird. Is that? I wonder if that's just always what the light shield looks like, and I don't notice. Play. Let's go. Play, you're really blowing it. Not to make you feel bad about it. Don't look. Don't listen back to this. No, he, no, I didn't. Yes, he did. Your team is against you, Clay. Anthony, Anthony just said to out loud that I said that Clay was the thing that it, you said out loud, which is not true. It is completely true. This is not true. On commentary, you lie. That's what you do. That's what you do. Because it's funny. Yeah, it's for for the for the views. The for viewers the... need the need the lies to get to stay, um, to stay engaged. Please, thank you. He just said they it. They need lies. Oh, this is a, this is a little thing here. Oh my god. Damn! How did that work? What in, like, what in tarnation? What in blazes? Damn, I'm gonna post the sad cowboy emote. Uh oh. Don't make me post the sad cowboy. No. I'm gonna be a sad cowboy. Don't. Yeehaw. Oh my god. No. This is totally doable. Oh. You got Royzo? No! Oh my god, how did you not turn around down tilt or something? Oh my god. He we want him! He we want him! Oh my god. What? what is going on? I can't believe that! They play Marth! Garbage roll up! Fort Smash! Oh my god, this is crazy! What the ledge cancel? Early uppy! Early! Side! No! Oh my god! Oh, okay. okay, he should be dead. He should be yeah, he's super dead. SD in yeah. the next five seconds. Okay. Yeah! Oh my god. We have to send in spades, I think. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah he's going we, in. He knows. he knows. We have to send in spades. Yeah. That was actually crazy. Oh, that he's was already so in. close. Yeah. I don't know, your team's looking a little, a little dry right now. Looks like you're running out of resources. Uh, I don't know why you say that, because I feel like we're healthy. We're at a healthy spot I feel spot like you're right running now. out of you resources. You drained all of your... All of your... Our geez. Your resources. Oh, really? Your resources are all drained. I, I think Tim the guy is right there. What do you mean? I think and Tim I the guy is not right there. I think, uh, I think we also have Brub in the back. I don't know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say that our players are not... As good as your players? I'm saying that we have this in the bag, is what I'm saying. Well, there's no bag. Yeah, we have Jeff in the back. Yeah, and we're there's going no... to create the bag oh, and secure wait it. wait a second. Is Jeff on our team? No, he's on your team. Pretty sure Jeff's this on This is our over. Team. This is over. This is over. No, he was saying... He was pointing yeah. to himself. Get okay. with the program, Kiko. Get with the program. Wow. Yeah. Oh, also, Anthony, or Okami, the, the commentary. You can change Feral to, to, to Kikoho. Toho? <laughs> To Toho. Keep Toho. Fumo! Fumo! Did you like the Fumo? Uh, I, I put, did. I was very happy. Good. I was very happy. Yeah, with I the put Fumo. Fumo. I was like, what do I put for Kikoho? Is that like Fumo? That's the. That's my defining character trait. <laughs> Fumo. Yeah. <clears throat> Jeff! Jeff? Oh, damn. Jeff wants the run back. Did Jeff lose the spades in bracket? Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good one for spades. I'm not sure how much Pikachu just played against. Nitro. Nitro! I think it was game five, but I don't remember. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Ba, da, da, da. Ba, 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 I hum and like whistle the like, <clears throat> me, like menu theme one so much, just doing medi like menial tasks. It's I don't know if Nitro's tag is a zero. I think it's just an O. I think it's just an O. I think I'm it's just an O. I'm pretty sure I cannot hear you. You have a mic, I don't know how to turn it on. You probably think you tap the top? I don't know. We can't hear you, dude. We cannot hear you. What? The zero was auto-completed. Well, my, my uh, whole commentator has fled to aid the stream, so I will say that this is completely free for my team, and Artie's team, Artie's team is, you know, poo poo ka ka All right, bobo. all right, all right. Poo -poo. We're gaming. We're gaming. Oh? I mean, this is not... Oh, it's impossible. It's impossible? 
Just like your chances of winning this pure Wait, battle. Wait, how did the first stock get lost so quickly? Um, we were busy talking about the zero in Nitro's name, and I missed it. Oh yeah, yeah. He got up smashed. I'm pretty sure. I think Phantom. at one point. Oh shoot! I think at one point Nitro's tag did have a zero, and that's why it was auto completed. Um, like at the beginning. But of the I think since then he's changed it on Smash GG to, to have an O. Oh, I think. I could be wrong. I haven't checked the bracket. Ooh. You know, we was a good option select tag. It can be weekday Whoa. warrior. Weekday warrior. Thursday oh yeah, I mean it still works. Yeah. Thursday week, evening warrior. Just weak warrior. Just weary warrior. <laughs> Maybe we have to uh, upgrade Weewa. Not He's not just weekends, he's a whole week now. Oh! Weary warrior, we got... Wet warrior. That's wet warrior. That's when he goes in the pool. Alright. Uh, We got... He's... What else do you have? Weathered Warrior. Weathered or... Weather Warrior. Jeez. It's like if Kikoho could control the weather. Or wait. If we walk could control the weather. <laughs> I am not sure. <laughs> uh, the the Winning Warrior? Western I think warrior? It's, yeah, yeah, I think it's not w. good enough. It's not good enough to be an alliteration w. like WW. It needs to be a alliteration the where the first warrior. W See, is Val W E. Yeah, yeah Western, Western Warrior. warrior. The, 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 the warrior Wario. That doesn't work. Okami, that didn't work. That didn't work. That's the Okami. Wawa. That's that Wawa. Didn't work. That's the town You're in hurt? um. Warrior you know War. That's the same. Oh, you just. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. He just typed the same exact thing. Oh my God! Type it. Uh, warrior, uh, warrior. That's no, I don't cheese you. No, I didn't. I didn't want that. No, Okami didn't understand. Sorry, I was. I do. started shouting out Ratatouille and instantly Jeff. Won. Oh no. Okay, we gotta send in someone versus Jeff and take it clean. We gotta take it clean, dog. We gotta. The weed warrior? No, he no. would. No, right? I don't no, know. No, unless? Unless? What if we, uh... What if we weekended warrior we... in, in the Wii Wa? Um, we... what else can you do, WWE? Just be the Wii warrior. He just really likes roller coasters. The Wii He's a warrior. Little tiny warrior. He <laughs> likes roller coasters? That's what that means? It, duality of meaning. He likes, you know, Wii. Wii. <laughs> yeah. God, we're getting rolled. <laughs> that is rough. Uh... They keep getting rolled every week. Yeah, I every mean, maybe week. maybe it's just light is, uh... Light? Oh. Okay. That's hot. I like the time. I think we're teaching the viewers a good lesson that you shouldn't succumb to the dark side. You should no, stay no, no, virtuous no, 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 no. and clean. Sometimes the dark side is cool, though. Yeah, but cool doesn't mean Look, morally just. If the dark side always lost, wouldn't be exciting. It's not exciting when the dark side always loses. Oh no. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, are you on? I unplugged it for you. Here, 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 here. Okay, we fix it. We there fix we it. go. Hopefully the stream didn't hear a big sound, terrible sound, sounding noise when you plug it back in. Yeah, just a All collusion right. from Team Sith showing showing the uh, the children in chat mm. what you shouldn't do. I don't know it's, what you mean children. Well, what? We have we have youngins in the Are venue. Are you calling specifically the people that we saw in chat? No, I'm children? calling... How do people in chat feel about that? I am not Go insulting the people in I'm chat. I'm saying there might be someone, you know, kind of lurking. There are plenty of lurkers, right? I'm not talking about lurkers, though. We know... I said the people, people in chat. That doesn't mean yeah, everyone in, in chat. chat. That doesn't mean every single person. Okay, if I said the people in chat... What group some, are you referring to? Some oh, now you're changing the words. Not specifically the people we saw changing on the, the words list. now. Okay, all right. Look at this okay. guy trying to bend my, oh, my intentions. Bending? Like no one's bending. Usual me. Sith gamer. I am. I am completely vertical right now. Zero bending. I would love to be called young. Val, you're young. I, I, actually think. I actually don't know unless, how old Val unless is. Unless I... I mean, it seemed like we were comparable age, and I'm not old. I mean, you sound like you're, like, mid-20s. I sound like... Oldest. Oh. No, I was talking about Val. 
I mean, you also. All right. We're I want children under the eyes of God. <laughs> this is really funny, AJ. <laughs> so true, bestie. I actually um, don't know which one is. I'm a youngin. Big nose Billy. Yeah. Big nose Billy. You're the youngin. It's you're is more it? than a youngin. Aren't you also How? 1994 How already? Old? I am. Yeah. How so old is uh, Big Nose Billy? He's uh, go he goes to Yukon, so okay. there's a certain age range that makes sense. Uh, but we don't have to assume. Big Nose Billy, are you over the age of 35? What? I'm just double checking. I mean, I don't think so, but. 20, 20 years 20. old. Okay. All right. I think I'm still one of the youngest people that goes to Hoggy. And I'm yeah, well, not super young. Well, I'm not that young anymore. For melee, I cannot believe that you just ran up and grabbed that charge on Smash. Like I think, other than Clover, I'm still. Oh, Marcos is going. He's doing work, right? Koob, Koob tag. It sucks that you can't say Koobs as a tag. Wait, is Koobs in the crew battle? Is he here? No, I don't think. Oh, the... I think he left. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, I like the paint. This is. This oh, is I don't Jedi, like the Yeah. Up smash. That was a. Uh, Jedi vicious. collusion because Yo told me to warm him up before the crew battle, but All you right. just stole me away. All right. What do you Commentary. mean? Commentary. Yeah. I was trying to contribute oh. to my my First locals. Off, didn't know. Second off. What's the second part? We don't have to go there. You don't want me to go there. I think I want you to go there. No, you don't. I don't no. think you have a second point prepared. Um, then. you don't want me to go there. All right. Look, it's more. It's it's less powerful the longer. Yeah. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. Yeah. Lay it but on know, me as, as insulting know, as you can. I know that it would crush you if I said okay. it right now. Well, say it right now. No, 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 no. I want to be crushed. I don't want to be crushing anyone. I want to be crushed. I'm, I'm. Absolutely slaughtered. I'm repenting for my Sith sins, and crushing you would would mean that I haven't changed, and that's the that's the worst fear. What if it is a a request? No, 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 crushing. No. no, what? I think we're beyond the point. I think. No, you don't crush. You don't hurt people because they ask to be hurt. Uh oh. Get a load of this guy. No, I'm not, no one's getting any load. Already, <laughs> ideally, AJ, AJ, I can't repeat things so often that you say without making it seem as though Hog has an opinion on the thing that you're we saying. We do not have a religious policy. Yeah, there's no. All we know is melee. Just you know, please don't be racist. There you go. Or bigoted. Or bigoted. Or. Older than me. No! Oh my god. No! Oh no. What do you mean? Alright, let's have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. In capital E. Maybe, maybe you were unsure of who was who. Maybe that's what you were unsure of. Because I think that I'm proud of Marcos. I think. I'm so proud stocks. of Marcos. I think Marcos lost two stocks. What do you mean he lost two stocks? I think he lost two. Look, you just you could just say things that are correct. That doesn't mean that your argument is any more sound. That means I'm correct. Does that, that make sense? Right? What? That's not if what I'm I said. Correct, You're creating a new word. Correct. You created new that words is, with new meaning. No, you created a whole new meaning out of what I said. I wonder I who will win. This is closer music. than I thought. Yeah. I could go Wait, with some so Domino's pizza. Who's up our we have Sack. Funny. You guys have Brubble Kami. Yeah. So this is like pretty tight. I think Okami has a winning record against Boob Hoob. Come on. One, go. Damn, I believe in you, Marcos. Last okay. time these guys played, I'm just saying, I think Marcos, Marcos might have gotten that dub. Well, I think, a brub. I think Brub Brub is getting the dub. No, 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 no. You're misunderstood. See, Okami, Okami you keep like streaming. your head over the, yeah, like, the yeah, monitor. that's right. That's right. He agrees. <laughs> I wonder how you can use that mic, Okami. I'm sure. I think you could just tap the top of it. Have you tried okay. hitting any other buttons? I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's muted in OBS. I don't know. Well, that wouldn't mean we wouldn't be able to hear it, right? Who knows?
Bruh, but pretend oh. it's Kino! Oh I don't know Yo, why oh. that helped! But Wait, why did that work? Well, unless he like dropped shield for a frame to do something. Oh, he read the the wait, like the wake up, and then either shine or spot dodge. Okay, Brub is doing some stuff right now. It's not looking great. Wow, that was nutty. I feel like All I'm right. impressed. Marcos, by we I need should... another one, dude. We need another one. Yeah, we can't you need die it. here. You need it. We gotta recover well. No. Nope. Oh my god. Zach did beat Rub today. Yeah, he yeah, did. But he's got to beat him so hard that he has an Ephra Okami afterwards, so... Alright, one more will be crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. God. This is it. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, Jason. Let's go, Jason. Let's go, Jason. All right, we're gonna, we're I gonna gave, do our best here. I gave Brub some very sound advice. Okay. I think it's over. I think it's over for you. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough out here. If right? Can, I mean, if we uh, had like a little bit more. Right. If I took your stock. Oh, it was so important that I didn't that I got your stock and I didn't get it. <laughs> All right. All right. Can you imagine the Jedi dropping this whole thing now? I don't think so. I can absolutely imagine it. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I don't know. Only 98. Yeah. Oh my God. What? Yeah. Only 98 what? minutes to time out. Down smash. Woo. No. Oh my God. He double jumped into that up B. See, maybe Okami can clutch another crew battle. Oh, nice wave land. That was clean. Brub, do you want or Okami? Do you want Brub to lose so you can clutch it? No, oh, you got to space around the get up attack. Wow, he really said he wants to. Wants Brub, to, wants Brub to lose. What a These hand what gestures a, over the the monitor. You're, I don't know what any of it means. I think he's saying he that he knows. wants his own teammate to lose so he can and pick stack, up all the glory. stacking them all. I think I used that word right. I think so. Yeah. Oh no. Well, Sack, in that context, oh, no. is a, um, an abbreviation for sacrifice. <laughs> gonna challenge the double jump to ledge. Oh, nice. It's looking like okay. bracket. It. Take this one, and it's not impossible. Take Lose another stock, and it's pretty hard, I will say. Three stocking someone is really hard. Unless you got really a number on them. Down smash! You to kill these, you don't. Heck! You got the hard part. Yeah. Oh, Rub's taking three more. Three more. This oh, one. you got to oh, in. No. Oh my God. Oh, Jason. Jason, get out of here! No, oh, get out of here! Oh, what's the matter? Looking, sit, looking a little fly, a little. It's looking harder. A little I will say. Wee I, look, Miwa. Is that what you said? Look, looking a little wee wa. Oh, Kami, oh, why are you God. popping off? Back her out of shield. Stop popping off, Okami. It's not over Stop yet, Okami. It. You know what? Brub, lose the stock! Yeah, we need Okami to embarrass himself after that yeah, one. Yeah, we need Okami to embarrass oh. himself. How? Oh. 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 oh my god. Coop stock! Please, throw the turnip. Oh my god. How are you actually getting it? Oh! Oh, he's yeah. fine. Oh, oh my oh. god, that was so... Okay, Okami. Okay, okay. I can, like, loop around. Okay. Cream. Someone else gotta do that thing. Do the stream. Oh, you're gonna loop around? No, that's hard. Let me here. Let me loop around. What? We're looping around here. Stop moving. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just commentate from over here. That's difficult. I'm just gonna commentate from over here. Okay. You got it? Um, I'm saying, how is this any like more difficult than me going over there? No, because, because. Because. I don't have to explain myself. I'm just gonna give the microphone to Okami while he plays. We should just give the mic to the players. That's what we should do. No, 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 no. I think that'd be a great idea. Rub, you keep that sock. Niwa means yard in Japanese. All right. Sack comeback. This is gonna be hard. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a rough one. What is that face? It's a little like alt face, you know, like. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 
three, two, one, go! Oh my. Oh my god. Suddenly? Unless? Up throw him! No, 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 no coaching. It's a crew battle! <laughs> It's a crew battle. I can I can do whatever I want. I'm Kiko. Ho. I think you we have been coaching our teams coaching <laughs> in heavy parentheses the whole time. Wow. Is saying oh, Tim Tim kill him is this that is not a, impossible? No. No, we don't condone murder in this house. Oh, that was pretty bad. Okay, you didn't didn't uh Oh, oh my god. That was like the very tail end the of that spot. Okami was boasting about how he destroys Jason. Oh, so so. Oh, Okami's so about to win annoying. another. I saw him take a deep breath. He wants to. He wants to win it. Okami wants to anchor another crew battle. Yeah. Watch him pop off. Watch Mine. Jason. Bring it as close no, as he I can. Think, I think Okami's got it because he does this. Then he like. like I'm waiting oh, for the Jason. grab. Oh no. Oh my God! Down smash, dude. Just down smash over and over. Oh what? my gosh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Side B third hit down. Wait, sack is Jason? Jason is sack. Yeah. I, I thought it. Yeah. Side B fourth hit up. Hey, whoa! Hey. Oh, hey, stop it! Hey. Do it. Know about that? No. Wait a little do bit. Kikaho, last time we told people to do something and they did it, they lost a whole extra stock they didn't need to lose. They actually uh. When you told Tommy to roll out. Dude. Just no! Kill oh God! Do it! It'll be funny. Huh? Oh my God! Okami really took his time with that one. What? Uh, what are you doing, Jason? Oh no! <laughs> and oh darkness loses once again. Yeah. Good prevails, and darkness sinks back into the realm of. You know. That's it. Oh, do you want the uh Wait, okay. that's not how you wanna win. That's not how you wanna win. <laughs> Alright. Bye Marcos. Alright, everyone. I think we're wrapping it up. Um into the recesses of Sin. <laughs> uh yeah, this uh this uh, tournament, thanks for watching, everyone. First first uh, tournament of the season. I hope everyone uh, enjoyed their time watching. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate everyone who makes this community possible. It's all awesome. It's great. Something to look forward to every week. So even if you're somewhere out of region, um, go to your locals, support them, have some fun, make some friends, and good night. Thanks for watching. See ya.